Thank you. Alright guys and girls, good evening, welcome to the Am Stream, welcome to the Sniper Show this Friday evening and how are we all doing? Good evening, it's, we're going back in time, the 1985 this time, yes, we're doing the A to Z, A to Z, sorry, turning American there, I blame Man Shovel for that and Matt M and others, A to Z of the Amstrad CPC, our long running series of streams, it's going to be a very, very long running series of streams. It's going to keep me in am streams for another 20 years, probably. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, we finished the uh, 1984 one uh, a few weeks back. And now we're on to 1985, the first one of 1985. The Oh, my goodness. Exploring 1984 was so much fun. We found some absolute solid gold uh, from 1984. Didn't we, boys and girls? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Wow. <laughs> who remembers that um, psychological test game? Um, who, who, what was it called? Um, what, what the fuck was that called again? Um, the Real You. Where we uh, psychoanalyzed the Amstream. The people on the Amstream of that. That was, that was, that was brilliant. Um, it, the, well, uh, call that a game the loosest possible terms or definition of a game. But that was fun. Um, we found, we found some old, oldies with goldies, a load of Amsoft crap, and some good Amsoft games, um, of course. Um, and it was really interesting finding some completely obscure games that no one had ever heard of before. 
Um, from things like the Weetabix versus the Titchies, Vampire Killer, Time Bomb. Um, what else did we find from 1984 that we never heard of before? I can't remember now. I'm having a look at the list here, actually. I've got it open here. Plenty of Roland and Games, of course. <laughs> um, yeah, what was the... What was, I'm trying to think of some really obscure ones. The Moors Challenge, which is like Granny's Garden. We uh, like, But I'd never heard of that one before. Um... What was a, there was like rollerball we came across and some really obscure the, the survivor which was quite interesting um yeah loads of obscure games morris meets the bikers that was an interesting one um yeah we played death kick i know man shivel likes that one um, yeah, some really obscure games from 1984 that no one had ever... Coloric, that was quite interesting in the end. Um, we had a, a few goes of that one to work out what the fuck you had to do on that. Yeah, loads and loads of obscure games that I don't think anyone had ever seen before. And that was like kind of like interesting digging up those lost, lost games. And we've been documenting them, boys and girls, into a giant spreadsheet and database. Um... And uh, when we play each of the games, you boys and girls are rating them and scoring them out of 10. And then we get the average score and we put them in the spreadsheet. Uh, we put them up and then we list them under genre. And the idea is at some point we'll have this giant database and spreadsheet of every Amstrad game. And we will use that at some point to... One, I will make a video on the best games of each year and the worst games. That'll be for the YouTube channel. That'll be quite cool. So, the 1984 one will be coming later this year. Um, and then there'll be a 1985 one and so forth. The other purpose will be, at some point, I'll release the spreadsheet and database uh, publicly for someone to use. Um... And I'll help with it. Maybe it'll be used for a website, a giant database somewhere. Um, maybe we could make a book. Maybe it could be turned into something completely different. A game base for, um, I don't know, launching games in an emulator. Who knows? But you you guys and girls uh, will have a hand in creating that. Because you're involved in the stream. You're involved in rating the games and all that kind of stuff. So your input is, you know, your your presence here on the stream and your input has a purpose. So you're not just like laying back on your sofas, on your bed, stuffing your face full of crisps and beer and just like, you know, slobbing back. Which is cool, if you want to. <laughs> you have a purpose. There is a purpose of being here tonight. So um, if you want to get involved, there's, you know, you can get involved and stuff, you know. That's all good. Um, so we're on to 1985. And this is where things get interesting, more interesting perhaps, because we start to see our first licensed coin-op games and our first film licenses appearing on the Amstrad. And Ocean starts stepping up their game a little bit. You can perhaps see some um, examples of games on the fun nail. And this, yeah, thank you, Moose. I love this A to Z Z series. Man Shovel, you're making me say Z instead of Z. I blame Man Shovel for this. Um, a massive physical AMS book would be amazing. Maybe I could make the AMS book. I know, I know. I don't, I don't know. I don't want to say I'm making an AMS book. Then I'd, I'd have to do a Kickstarter and then I'll get George Bum on my case. No, let's not do a book. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Um, but yeah, maybe, maybe one day, maybe one day. Um, who knows? Who knows? Anyway, um, but yes, you know, but yeah, I, I love it too. It's just a nice chilled stream. Who knows what we come across? I and mean, we it's like an stream where we're not just playing bloody Robocop and Renegade for the millionth time. So what we do, we do this in alphabetical order and we don't know what comes next. It could be utter crap. It could be absolutely mind-numbingly boring. Or it could be absolutely freaking amazing. Who knows? And we're going to use the CPC Power website and, and what um, order it lists the game. So I don't know what's coming next. You don't know what's coming next. It's a complete surprise. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, so we're going to start with the letter A. But before the letter A, it'll be numbers. So it could be 3D tank attack, if you know what I mean, first. So, yeah. 
Guaranteed to see Cauldron <laughs> at some point, yeah. So, all right, okay. Let's do the greetings very quickly. Let's try and welcome each and every one of you to the chat. And uh, we'll do a 10-minute timer. But before we do that, something happened on the stream as we were going live. Whoa! Holy crap! Lady Andrea White has just donated five pounds. Get your bananas out in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. But Andrea, thank you for being such a great streamer and tell Pete if he isn't asleep that my teeth are false after too many lollipops. True story. True story. <laughs> Andrea. Andrea, who? She said, "Hang on." She says, "Who did that?" Bananas in the chat for Andrea. <laughs> is that Pete? Or is that GP? Andrea, thank you for the five pounds. Hang on, let me just update my phone and see if I've got an email. That's not Andrea. That's not Lady Andy. And that's not Pete. It says, thank you for being such a great stream and tell Pete if he isn't asleep that my teeth are false after too many lollipops. True story. That's Pat McNulls. That's GP. GP, you are busted. I can see on my phone that's you. Got used to it. I've got used to it. Thank you, GP. That's very kind of you, GP. That's very kind of you. Thank you for the five pounds. Lots of love in the chat for GP. He gets the bl Poor GP gets the blame for everything. He's busted, Darren. He's busted. It's always GP. She started on him. He brings it on himself for being a silly sausage, GP. Oh, and so people can see... I perhaps should have showed this earlier. Sorry. This is the spreadsheet we're working from, by the way. This is the spreadsheet from 1984 games. So, this is what we were working from from last time. There you go. Just so you can see. And the average scores, the games. They're building it up. Oh, I should point out as well, we are skipping over games that are text adventures um, and like simulate, uh, sort of like war simulations, um, you know, like th those types from, it's not CRL, what, what's the company that pumps them out? Oh, hang on! Yossa Hughes has donated one pound. <laughs> Yossa Hughes? Who's Yossa Hughes? Oh no, they're coming in now. <laughs> we'll cease to be here, because none of this is ever to have happened. But we will exist back on Red Dwarf with no memory of these events, which of course never happened. And as these events never happened, we'll have no memory of them. In which case, mister. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? What's that about? Is that a quote from Red Dwarf? Thank, thank, thank you, Yossa Hughes. <laughs> thank you, Yossa Hughes, the one pound. Actually, I have no idea who that's from because my phone is not updating uh, and not had the email come through. Thank you, Yossa Hughes, the one pound. Right. Uh, I'll, I'll remind myself of which games we're skipping in a minute then. I've forgotten the rest of the ones. Anyway, I'll come back to that. Yeah, so we're not going to be doing red coats and stuff like that because we will never, ever, ever get through. Um, although uh, the, the A to Z, uh, Zoe. Hello, Zoe. By the way, Game Hammer. Yossa Hughes, thank you for the one pound. Who is Yossa Hughes? Yossa Hughes. I, 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 that that reference has gone over me. Yossa meets Shake Hands. Shake Hands headbutt. That's definitely a Red Dwarf quote from White Holers, I believe. Oh, I can't remember that name from Red Dwarf. Man, my memory's gone. Thank you, Yossi Hughes. I don't know who that is. My phone is not updating. I'm going to guess Man Shovel. I'm going to guess Man Shovel. Guys, I don't know if I can get through the greetings. I've, there's too much chat. I'm going to set a timer for 10 minutes. Uh, I'm going to have a very, very quick scan through the chat. And actually, I missed the top people now. Oh, my chat window won't go to the top now. So I'm going to go from the bottom to the top very quickly. CDJ! Hello, CDJ! Game Hammer! Zoe! Hello, Zoe! Welcome again. Welcome in again. Retro and Lim! How you doing? Welcome, Retro and Lim. 
Craig1962 Wilson, how you doing, mate? Enjoying the Nolans? I up, I up, me duck. And um, we've got a hi, Johnny Boy. Shalom, welcome, Johnny Boy. How you doing, Monge2? GP, welcome, welcome. Man Shovel, how you doing? I'm going to guess that was you, Man Shovel, because you started on your Red Dwarf journey not too long ago, didn't you? Mike ZT, Mike, you are an absolute legend, and we will find out on a. Um, you guys and girls will find out why on an Amstream coming very soon. Mike ZT has sorted out something very special for an Amstream game for us to do. Thank you, Mike ZT. Cheers, mate. Um, Robin Hook Retro Games with Hi, how you doing, my friend? Welcome, welcome. Um, welcome, Mike. Uh, sorry, where was I? Uh, Robin, Robin, how you doing, Robin? Sorry, I had to change some of my stream very quickly there. Robin, how you doing, sir? Pete Walker, the legend. <laughs> He's now got his own emote in the, in the Discord. <laughs> Bless you, Pete. Bless you. Vimster, how you doing, Vimmy? Welcome. Uh, GP, <laughs> sounds like a quote from Red Heat. <laughs> Welcome, Vimmy. Welcome. Um, there we go. Retro Bait. How you doing, Retro Bait? Hi, how's it going, my friend? Just give a job. Give a job. <laughs> Have you spoke all your money on um, uh, Hit Squad games? Unlucky, mate. Unlucky. Um, Andrea, I'm sorry about the dono earlier. That was very naughty of GP. Give him a smack on the bottom. Actually, he'd like that too much, probably. Do something else. Do something else to him. Um, Mr. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Secure Bjorn. Hello, Secure Bjorn. How's it going, my friend? Welcome. Mr. Darren Connor. How's the shop going, my friend? And how's the painting going as well? Do you need, do you need work on paintings recently? Um, Magic Knight. Welcome, my friend. Welcome, welcome. We've got Hinneman in the chat as well. Welcome, sir. How are you doing? Warzord has arrived in his TARDIS as well. Welcome, Warzord. Um, we've got Volo. How you doing, Volo? How's it going, my friend? Um, what's that you listing there? Is that your favourite games of 1984, uh, by any chance, Volo? Or favourite games of 1985? I'm not sure. Flight path. Um, hmm. Although I think Chucky Egg might be 1985, Volo. Hmm. There you go. I'm not sure. Not sure you're listing there, Volo. But welcome in, Volo. Um, CPC Game Reviews. Nish, how you doing, my friend? Welcome in. Welcome in. Flight Path was 1984. Chucky Egg, two, Chucky Egg is 1985. So I'm not sure what that was, Volo. Um... Let's see. Uh, who else have we got in the chat quickly? And then we'll get to our first game. Musa! Hello, Musa. Thank you again. Thank you again. You love this A to Z series. Me too, my friends. Me too. Blue Planet, welcome in as well again. How you doing, sir? Welcome, welcome. Um, skip every Whisper. Hello, Every Whisper. Nice to see you again. How have you been, my friend? Edward Bourget! Edward! How you doing, sir? Bonsoir! Salut! Welcome! Um, who else have we got here, then? Let's have a look quickly, and then we'll get to the first game. Do you know what? Screw the timer. Screw that timer. But we'll go very shortly. Cosmic Murmur! Hello, Cosmic Murmur! I saw you pop in earlier, and sorry, I didn't get to say hello properly. Welcome, Cosmic Murmur! Um, welcome in, and uh, is this your first time in the Amstream chat? If so, let me know, and we'll give you an extra special welcome. Welcome in, Cosmic. RetroQ, welcome in, RetroQ. How you doing, my friend? Hope you enjoyed Marbles last night. Oh, actually, Cosmic, there's your message. Good evening, all. Big thanks to all the channels I recognise in the chat here that I enjoy every week. Thank you for your hard work. Oh, awesome. What a lovely message. Yes, we've got some great YouTubers here as well. Definitely. Uh, which ones do you enjoy in particular here that you that you recognise? Um, uh, I think I might have caught up with most people. I'm going to have to abandon the greetings now. I'm at the top of the chat. I know <laughs> this is good, man. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Three pounds from Pete's Jam Covered Areola. Areola. I hop to the shop to buy my sweet lollipop. See the big stick and the red top. I'll put it in my mouth and eat it. Plop, plop, plop. 
Oh, poor Pete Walker. Who the fuck was that? I don't know. My emails have stopped updating. I I, I don't know who that was. I have no idea. I put my uh, my uh, mail servers down. <laughs> Thank you, whoever that was. Bananas in the chat chat for uh, Pete's jammed covered areole. <laughs> it's either retro limb or uh, man shovel. Thank you for the three pounds and poor Pete Walker there. <laughs> Bloody hell. Right, shall we get to the first game now? Sorry. Um, Rescue says, hey, Zypher, doing fine. Indeed, I did join the Marvel stream. I hope you guys do well. I saw you, Marbles. I saw you, yeah. Good to hear, Retrocue. Uh, no one to bounce on your merch store, Zypher. I'll stick to Anthropus. <laughs> we did want to do pants. We did want to do pants. We'll, we'll do them as soon as I can, GP. Or knickers. Job is quiet at the moment. I post the page and work on in Discord. I'll have a look at it later, Darren. Um, well, perhaps, uh, remind me, we'll bring you up during the AM stream later if you want. I'm sorry, here, I'm sorry to hear the shop is quiet. We'll try and drum up some business for you somehow. I'll get thinking, and we'll get thinking. Uh, Cosmic Murmur says, I've kind of been in the background, but often watch. Ooh, I'll watch Zoe, Retro Dim, and Retro Bus, lots of others. Oh, I see. It's your first time in the chat. Can everyone welcome in and make them feel very welcome? Cosmic Murmur, I'm going to start off with. Uh, can everyone tag them and give them a hello? I've done that there. Welcome, Cosmic Murmur. Welcome in. I hope you have a lovely time here in the Amstream chat. It's a very silly and strange place. Right. We're going to get to the first game. Sorry. Sorry, chat. Thank you, Pete's Jam Covered Nipples <laughs> for the dono. Um, excellent. There you go. We've got a very lovely and friendly welcoming community here. A very strange one, but it's friendly and welcoming. <laughs> um... Right, first game tonight. Let's have a look. Oh, yes, the games are excluding very quickly. Um, types of games. We've we're excluded magazine listings and type-ins, text adventures, mail order games, and strategy war simulations. Potentially other sort of simulation games. Otherwise, we will never get through to A to Z. They could have their own thing another time, maybe. And we'll probably skip past public domain homebrew games until later in the machine's life, okay? Those are the games we are kind of skipping over, okay? All right. Are you kidding me? South Southampton are beating Arsenal. You've got to be joking. All right, first game tonight... First game tonight. Okay, let's have a look. Let's find out what CPC Power has in store for us. What the fart is this? 1,000 borns. What the hell is this? Ugh. What the crap? hell is that? Play it. Is this a real game? Oh god, it's a real physical release. Is, uh, have we got anyone here that's, that speaks French? Oh no, this is a real release, isn't it? I was hoping it'd be some... Uh, Thousand Boards is based on a car game that was invented in France. Oh god. This isn't like the uh, banger of a game I wanted to start the stream off with. Uh, with Dreamy speaks French. Henri, Henri is here. Henry, bon salut, bonsoir, Henry. Come on, Sava. Can you uh, can you translate? Oh, Johnny boy, <laughs> not your French, not your kind of French. <laughs> oh, great. Uh, oh, uh, Edward. Um, you speak French. Uh, Borns is kilometers, you know, that metric system. Um, Henry, Henry, you've arrived at the right time. So it's 1,000 kilometers. Good lord. Do I have... Oh, it's not really the game I wanted to start the stream with. 
We'll do this very quickly. Sometimes you get gold. Sometimes you get a giant 1,000 kilometer turd drop on you. I haven't, I, I haven't even got the disc for this. Jesus. Right, let me download this. I'm sorry, chat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right, it's called M Mill Bourne's the disc file is. Right, okay. Mill Bourne's from Free Game Blot. Apology accepted. It means 1,000 milestones. All right, off we go. Right. Henri, this is your moment to shine on the Amstream. And Edward. All right, we got some music. There's a car and everything. Hey Arnie, how you doing Arnie the Viking? What a masterpiece. What's your name? That's asking for our name. Okay. Oh no! I'm trying to delete. How do I... I, try, I was pressing the backspace to delete my name. What the hell? Alright, okay, whatever. Uh, Alright, we haven't got any music. Let's put some music in our background. Um... Oh dear, I think Mrs. Zypho might need some help upstairs. Alright, hang on a second. Right, okay. I might need to go and help Mrs. Zypho in a minute. I think she's having trouble with Mini Zypho upstairs. Um, pick up a card. How do we pick up a card? Oh, left, right. Uh, Tira un card, coupe for a. What's Tira un card? Uh, right. I'll get a Google Translate open, so if we'll wait for a. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I don't know. I'm sorry, I don't know the rules. <laughs> oh no. Um. Okay. Tira is pull un cart. The draw a tira un cart is pull a card. Who? Uh, for a is foul. Coup for a. Coup for a is foul play. An abandon is abandoned. So we'll pick up a card. I'll press space bar, I guess. And we picked up a card there that said 100 on it or something. The first rule is never play this game. Edward says rules are too complex to be done in a chat room. It's uh, GP says it's French. They have very different tastes to us as Iceland Icelandics. <laughs> Zai's running up to revise his GCSE French not to help Mrs. Zai. We can all see through his flimsy excuses. <laughs> now, Vimster says it's solid gold streaming. There's a solid gold turd here. Zypher, I know the rules. You need to draw a start card to get the car running. It's all about get. All oh, right, it's a card game, I think. And it's about getting... Um, and I think something to do about getting your car. It's something to do about getting your car... From like A to B, basically, and then the first play, and it's 
I, I guess like there must be a board with your like a symbol for your car and it's first person to get their car to the end destination and the cut the cards in uh, the cards will have you'll have fuel cards and look I can see like there's a fuel gauge card or something like that um give up and help mrs zypho do you want to play Jua is play right We've seen that on Am French Amstrad games. Yeah, Zuba's play and D. Fauser? Sounds like a German word. It's discard. We'll just play. go play. We'll play whatever that is. 100 meters. A em fuel empty card. That must be like repair car. I don't know. Action illegal. We'll play... Whatever that is. Action illegal. So we played the empty fuel card. I don't know what that. Uh, Edward says push the 50 card. We'll draw a card. Alright. Action illegal. Action illegal. So we've got to get our car started. In the bottom left corner, it says I've got an L50. Oh, I don't know. Action illegal. Can we, we can't play. All right. Right, okay. We've got, I've basically got to get our car started, haven't we? Push 50 card, you'll run 50. I think we need to get... Ar Arnie says we need to get a car running. If you can't play a card, you can just start guard one like you did there. Oh, what's this one? Ah, we've got to get a car started. Action illegal. Oh, that works. Something there. We'll draw another card. I, I have no idea. I have no idea what we are doing. Yeah, I give up on this one. All right, okay, it's a card game. Now, if you can imagine, I don't know. Right, a card game that you play at home. Imagine one of those, um, I don't know. Let's try and think of a card game. Um, imagine a card game like, I don't know. I wouldn't say Monopoly, that's not right. Uh, I can't try and think of another card game that would be similar to this. I don't know that we all know. Um, red, light, green, I don't know. I heard that MK... Dipho, did you drop one? MK? I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about there. Ams honk? I don't know. Some, oh, I think that was my chair rubbing against the desk there. there wasn't, no, that wasn't me doing a air yeah, trumpler or anything like that. Verdict, it's bobbins. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I, I I try not to be too unfair about this because it seems to be reasonably presented for a card game. Um, it's very basically presented. It probably, I'm going to assume it works okay. We just don't understand the rules of the game. Blame the chair. I didn't trump. Whatever it was. I, th I think the chair rubbed against the edge of the desk there, guys. I didn't trump. I didn't drop one. I'll be if I'm if I did, I'll be honest and own up to it. I don't honestly. I don't give a crap. Um, I think it's reasonably presented for a, a card game. I'm just trying not to be too unfair about it. I'm just trying to be balanced. 
Um, if we understood the rules of the game, it probably would be reasonable for a card game on the Amstrad for 1985 before we score it out of 10. Um, all right, it, it probably plays okay. Have we got screenshots of this? Hang on, let me just see. And I guess we saw that white screen earlier, didn't we? Hang on. And I guess when you get you get the car running, you like get you get this little cutscene of the car driving along. When you actually get the car going, you get this little cutscene of the car going <laughs> along the road as it moves as it moves along the road. Hello, Jolly, and hello, 80s retro gamer, and son of a fitch. Hello, son of a fitch as well. <laughs> You probably get a cutscene of that car moving along as you move along. And there's probably... I don't know. What's this goodies? It's probably a fairly fa relatively well-known game in France. Arnie knows the game. Hang on! Maximilian Robesphere. That's kind of a familiar name. Thank you, Maximilian Robespierre, for the one pound. You are under arrest for playing a counter-revolutionary bourgeois game. Off to the guillotine you go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Maximilian Robespierre, for the one pound. Again, my my inbox, uh, my emails are par apparently are down at the moment, so I cannot reveal who that was. So, if anyone's doing a silly fake donos under weird names, I have no idea who they're from. My emails are apparently down at the moment. So, uh, thank you, Maximilian Robespierre, for the one pound. You shall go under the mis. You shall remain a mysterious donor. <laughs> thank you for the one pound. All right, scores out of ten for one thousand borns, or, or AKA mill borns. I don't know. I'll give it a five out of ten. I'll go in the middle for this one. Yeah, and we'll move on to the next game. So scores out of ten for um one thousand borns. And we'll um I'm just while you're doing that, guys, I'm just gonna check on Mrs. Zypho, because I hear a lot of sc screaming um upstairs from Mini Zypho. Okay. Be right back in like hopefully just 30 seconds.
Hey guys, I am so sorry for keeping you waiting there. So sorry about that. Um, yeah, I'm having a little trouble with mini sci-fi up there. Um, don't worry, don't worry. We'll have a good stream tonight and we'll go on a little bit longer perhaps. Um, so sorry for keeping you waiting there. Right. Um, I might have to pop up again just for a little bit, just to tuck him back into bed, just to kiss him goodnight. Mini's eye bow. He's having a little bit of trouble this evening. So, um, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Kids, kids and, you know, kids come first and all that kind of stuff. Um, I have to be a good dad. I have to be a good daddy. Um, let's get the scores in. So, very quickly then. Game Hammer gave it 5 out of 10. Retro Limb. I don't, think, I don't think I can accept that score. 1,000 out of... 100,000. That 1 out of 10. I'll give that as a 1 out of 10 then. DP gives it a 2. Uh, Jolly. Zypha, the game is, for, uh, is Hall of Famer for games in the 80s, early 90s. Currently, it's, Amsmo Currently it's Asmodi that are publishing it. It seems they dropped the French version. I've no idea what that means, Jolly. You might have to re-explain that one. All right, Darren gives it a two. Robin Hood gives it a five. Terrible Copping, a four. CPC Game Reviews, a seven. A seven? Seven? Two from LK. Magilite gives it a two. Jolly gives it an eight. Limey. Pete Walker gives it a two. Uh, Manchester gives it a four. All these scores I'll put into a spreadsheet, and then I'll get the average score. Uh, Vimster, a two. Andy H, a one. Blue Planet, a five. And Mike CT a six. Uh, let's see. Where, where did I get to? Mike ZT a six. Uh, Henri doesn't give it a score. He puts a question mark. That's fine. Johnny Boy a two. Uh, Son of a Fitch a five. Uh, Mini's Life is screaming. I want my C64 Mini. <laughs> <laughs> Mini's Life wants to play kickoff. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Hey, May Mays, at what age does Mini Zypha just become Zypha and Zypha become a Maxi Zypha? <laughs> I'm very much a Maxi. Good lord, I need to lose some weight. Um, Russian Free 2. Oh my goodness. Free all! Is that Arsenal, Southampton? Oh my goodness. Um, eight minutes added time. Jesus Christ. Bloody hell. And it, did it end up free all? Right. Okay. So. Average score. Um, it's 3.6. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. So. Average score. For. 1,000 borns. <laughs> it's 3.6. Right, so it's 1,000 1, borns. And this is from Free Game Blot. I'm just putting this in my spreadsheet. So, 1,000 borns, Free Game Blot. What the hell genre is this? Um, card game. I suppose. Card game? Yeah, card game. And you've got an average score of 3.6 there from all your scores there. So it goes into the spreadsheet of Doom. Um, see the what can be nice sometimes. I'm very nice. I'm very nice to you, Pete. It's a card game that is published by Asmodi. They publish lots of board games these days. Thousand Milestones was very popular back in the early 80s, uh, 80s and early 90s. Was it really jolly? Right. In what car, um, In what country? What, what countries, pretty much? Puzzle board game? Yeah. Yeah, we'll just keep it as card game, I, I suppose. Yeah, card game. Because, like, um... Yeah, we, have, we used card game before for bridge player, so we'll keep it as card game. Trying to keep the genres, like, consistent throughout these. Otherwise, we get loads of different genre and the titles, and yeah, yeah, it gets a bit confusing. Hey, Linford Pickle! Welcome, Linford Pickle. How you doing, my friend? How are you pickles doing, Linford? As I always say. Ah. Right, next game. Moving on. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Right, what's our next game? Let's find out in just a second. 
Consistency is everything, especially in a database and spreadsheet. Yeah. Right, we're only, it's 10 o'clock and we haven't done one blooming game. Right, let's move on. What's the next game? Right, after Thousand Borns, it's... Ah, that's a strategy game. 1815 from Cobrasoft, and it's a French one as well. Right, thankfully, CT Power has these little symbols there. Where's my live chat? There go. Um, like this one here. Can you see that little symbol there? When I, when I see this little symbol... I know that's a, like a war strategy sim. We can skip over that. What's next? Oh, for fart's sake, it's a freaking chess game. Ah! 3D voice chess. Oh, we've got speech in this. Looks like 1815 was made in 1815. Born to King 4. But we might have some sampled speech that might make this interesting. Sorry, guys. We want to get to an exciting action, shooty, bang, crash, smash game. Right. Bloody chess. Right. Okay. Right. I'll try and be quick on this one. We, we, we all know what chess is. Does it look good? Does, is the computer AI sort of okay? We'll test it out. And let's see what the sampled speech is like. Like, uh, stunning software generated speech output. We don't need like a hardware add on, like the speech synthesizer add on that Amstrad made. Interesting. Uh, announces computer moves as they are played. It's programmed with brilliant 3D graphics and spoken moves, raises the computer chest to a whole new level of excellence. Hey. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Can't be good as Sirius 2 chess. Now, that that was good. I remember, I think Amsterdam Action had that on the cover tape at some point, didn't they, um, Zoe? Right, so 3D voice chess. I have the disc already. Excellent. We could get cracking. Hot Bishop on Bishop Action. Oof. Hello, Gambit. Welcome in. How are you doing? Oh, I'll pause my music just in case we get some sampled speech. Hello, Gambit. Welcome. Maud, sneaky Maud, sneaking in. How you doing, Maud? Or oh, for Chris Whittingham. Whittington. Right, uh, just clean my glasses here quickly. Oh, I got very smudged. Right, new game. I guess N for new. Do you want white or black? Uh, I guess it'll be white. Uh, let's go for uh, intermediate. Uh, please note the above times are approximate or vary uh, with the complexity of the position. Select so look ahead. Okay, do you want speech output? Yes. You are white, level two. Uh, okay. You, me. Okay, so how did we select a piece? Uh, uh... Right, um... Z will display the coordinates on the screen when, uh, okay. What? Hang on. Sorry. I think. Oh, Jesus. I think. Uh, my... Right. Okay. I know what I did there. Right. Left. Right. I think I accidentally exit, ex exited the game. All right. Let's go for easy. Slip. What? Okay. So, how do you select a piece? All right. Okay. So, Z to display the coordinates on the on the screen. Uh. Okay. Right. Um. Okay. I guess we type the numbers. 
So if I go, uh, you are white. Okay, so if we go, oh, did you hear that? E, hello, Lucas. Welcome into an exciting game of chess. Did, did you hear that? E2, two, two. <gasps> oh, I've got to go upstairs to Minnie's IFO. Did you hear that sampled speech, boys and girls? Wow. Oh, I've just got to nip upstairs very quickly, boys and girls. I will be right back in one minute, okay? Wow. We'll come back to this riveting sampled speech in just a second. All right, guys, I've just got to tuck Mrs. Minnie's iPhone in bed. Okay, I'll be right back in, like, uh, one minute, okay? Oh, thank you guys and girls for sticking with me there. All sorted now. All sorted. Oh, I've been rushing up and down the stairs. Right. The little one has now been sorted. He's in he's in bed, tucked up, and he's all sorted. Right. Um right, it's chess. Looks alright. Um got sampled speech. I'll just pause my music there. And so you can hear it again very quickly. Dead. To display the coordinates there, so let's just move another piece very quickly so you can hear it. Let's go uh, D uh, two, and we'll go to D four. See if the see if the bishop takes the pawn. 
And he's going to have a think. The computer's having a think. Did you hear that sampled speech there? What do you think to the sampled speech there, boys and girls? Yeah. King Prawn Vindaloo. Hmm. This looks like dildo chess. Hello, old style gaming. Welcome. What do you think to the graphics and the slightly 3D perspective? It's not that... It's not that really 3D, is it? They've just given it a bit of a slant, haven't they? Don't sit on the board. <laughs> Hello, exotic geeks. Welcome. Hello, Owl K, my fellow Owl. Hmm. Um, chess can be fun and you can replace the pieces with mini shot glasses to liven it up. That, ooh. Saucy chess. I like that, Maud. That sounds good. It sounds like speaking spell. Right, let's see if the computer can guess what move I'm about to do. Okay, this is a quick way to end the game. All right, um, Z. Uh, thank you. Right, um, so. Right, F, 1, 2, Let's see if the computer guesses what I'm going to do. Do you, Chat, do you know what move I'm trying to do here? Yeah. Ah, okay. He might not... The ch uh, Okay. He's blocking it. Okay, so... Hmm... Okay. Well, you, well, uh, what I could do is move my queen from uh, the queen out all the way over diagonally right, right, and get a checkmate by having the um. So what? Uh, hang on, I'll show you. I'll show you. So what I can do is move queen out to here. Oops, sorry, out, out to here, and then go here and get the checkmate. On the king, with the with the with the uh, bishop protecting it, the king can't take it. You can get, you get a very quick checkmate. I was waiting to see if the computer would spot it. Do you see? Do you see? If you know your chess, you're on the creme de la men for your OSG. My brain gonna explode. All right, I'm gonna have to. blocking it so what i'll have to do is back it up a little bit all right okay uh, c4 two okay all right, okay, I think we'll get some scores out of 10 from this one then. Scores out of 10 for 3D voice chess. It's not a bad chess game. It's not a bad chess game. I'll give it... For a chess game, I'm going to give it 7 out of 10. Hmm... I think it's starting to spot what it, what I'm going to be doing. Right, in which case I need to do... Uh, Andrea says 7 out of 10. I love chess growing up. This looks like a really good version of chess on the Amstrad. So for chess, I think this is a thumbs up. I mean, if you don't like chess, you're just not going to like this. And you get some um, synthesized voice with it. I think this is pretty good. Uh, he's got an escape route for the king now. So the remover was going to do, the king can now escape here. So, yeah. 
Actually, where did that pawn go that was there? I must have missed that. Where, 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 would that, where did that pawn go that was there? Oh, I missed that. Right. It's no battle chest. That's true. All right. Any more scores out of 10 for this one? I think we'll move, uh, we'll move on. Right. So. Right. Let's see. What have we got there? 80s Retro Gamer gives it a 2. Andy H. Hello, Andy again. Welcome in, Andy. And we got Sir Nick of Tech. Hello, uh, Technic. Did someone say Mars Bars? I don't know. Did they? Um, welcome, Nick. Uh, Robin gives it a six. Four, but only for speech. That's pink. Thank you, P. Um, Johnny gives it a seven. I'll get I'll click that in there. Uh, Game Hammer Zoe, nine. She likes this one. I think it's a, a quality chess uh, a product, this one. Uh, Darren Connor gives it a six. Manchable gives it a seven. Seven. Arnie gives it a five. Mike ZT gives it a seven. Magic Knight a six. Heihon gives it a six. OSG uh, gives it a five. Not a fan of chess then. Uh, Blue Planet gives it a seven. Uh, it has the option to take up to 24 hours to make a move. Imagine leaving your CPT on for 24 hours for a chess game to make a move. Did it really? On the title screen? I'll check that out. I'll check that out. Uh, four for Al K. Right, where did we get to? Uh, all sorted down, Mrs. I. You can relax now. Don't tell the chat what was happening. <laughs> 8 out of 10 for Room Exotic Geek. Johnny Boy gives it a 7. Um, where do, oh, we got some more scores there. Uh, Retro on Limb gives it a 5. Did, it, did the match finish 3 or? I'm gutted for Southampton, but I'm glad for Forrest. Uh, Henri gives it a 6. Uh, Malamut gives it... Hello, Barry. Uh, gives it a 7. And uh, Maud gives it a 6. And Paul Hayward, hello, Paul Hayward, gives it a six. Right, there we go. Average score. 5.95. Oof. We ran it up to a six. Seems a bit unfair. Uh, so, this is game number 83. Uh, it's... Let's get the proper title. It's free hyphen D voice chess, isn't it? Free dash D voice chess. Right. So, oh, you can't see what I'm typing. Right. Free dash D voice chess in 1985. Uh, chess. Uh, what was the average score again? Uh, five point nine five. So we'll give it a six. Gets a six. And who was this by? Deep Fort Software. Deep Fort Software. Bloody hell! Never heard of them before. There we go. 3D voice chess. Awesome. All right. Okay. Okie dokie. Right. Right. Please be an interesting game next. Please be an interesting game next. All right. Oh, my view count's got stuck as well. Been stuck for a while, I think. There we go. Okay. Oh, need a drink. Oh, what was that about? The, oh, yeah, the 24 hours to make a move thing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was going to look at that, wasn't I? Uh, had, we managed to quit out a game before. Hang on. Oh, 
Oh my god, you're right! You are right, May May. It's well spotted. Level 6, correspondence. 24 hours! Bloody hell, your, your Amstrad would have melted by then. Deep Pro Software, right to roll busts. <laughs> Bloody hell. What's the point in that? Fax machine would be quicker. Bloody hell. Anyway, let's move on. Ooh. Okay, next game of the night then. Please be good. Please be something more exciting. Yeah. Shooty, shooty, bang, bang. Something or other. I'll, I'll take I'll take bloody cauldron. I'll take cauldron. Right. Let's have a look, shall we? Okay. Next game of the night. It's something to be good. Come on. Let's be good. Let's be good. Right. You ready? Fingers crossed. Oh, okay. It's 3D boxing. Okay. And this has got sample speech in as well. Two games of speech in. Although, <clears throat> the only emulator to sa uh, have... Oh, actually. <clears throat> I was going to say, the only emulator to have sampled speech I've known is, uh, is the, J the Java CPC emulator. And that's a pig to get... Um, uh, running well captured on a live stream 3d boxing from amsoft amsoft gold it's a knockout biff right hello richard jimenez as i live and breathe good to see you on an amstream my friend hello mate how you doing good to see you my friend i love this as a kid it's uh oh i'm not sure i could Bring it out without uh, everything falling off my shelf. Um, this worked with the um, Amstrad SSA1 speech synthesizer, which came as a freebie, I think, with my Amstrad 464 when my parents bought it from Dixon's or Rumbelow's. I can't, they don't remember which shop. And they bundled it free. And with the speech synthesizer, this game came free with it. And yet, it was a hardware expansion you plugged into the back of your Amstrad, and it came with speakers, and it gave me surround sound speakers. The speakers were freaking tiny. I will show you a demonstration of them from a video later. Uh, the, the sampled speech add-on was a bit crap, to be honest, but it gave s uh, surround sound speakers with your Amstrad, because the 464 had a little internal speaker, which all looked great. But I had surround sound speakers with my Amstrad. The speaker was a tiny and tinny, but it was better than the internal speaker. And I love this thing. Anyway. Um, Polymorph. Hello, Polymorph. Welcome. How you doing, my friend? <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, guys. Right. Um, your dad adored this. I've never get to see the team when he's playing it. Really, Zoe? Ah, oh, I'm glad I'm bringing back some nice... Um, um, nostalgic memories for you, Zoe. That's lovely. And Ghetto Crew. Hello, Ghetto Crew. DJ Justy. How you doing? I think we got some music and stuff on this. Oh, hang on. Does CPC EC emulator now emulate the SSA one? I can't remember. German. Hello, German. Welcome. Really box was one of the games that uh, came with the Amstrad got for Christmas '86. That screen music was quite good. Here it is, German. I got mine around about Christmas '86, I think, or '87. How you doing, German? Maybe they. I think they bonded it with mine. Blibble, how you doing, Blibble? Sir? We've all enjoyed the memories, Peter. How you doing, Flibble? In joke there. Let me just open up CPC EC. Do they emulate this? Ba 
I remember this music. Nah. I don't, I think uh, the, M the CPC EC doesn't emulate the SSA one, I don't think. Hello, Dreamy! Good evening, Dreamy Artists! How you doing? Welcome, Dreamy! Welcome, welcome! I love this music. And the Music Man! Hello, Music Man! How's it going, my friend? My view count's crashed. Come on, view count. There we go, it's better. Okay, alright. 3D Boxing from Amsoft Gold Label. Enter name. What should, what should, what should we have for our boxing boxer name? Chat, suggestions for our boxer name. We want a, a nice butch boxing name. Alright, suggestions in the chat for our boxer name. Like, uh, I don't know. Captain Bumface. Alan Sugar. Barry. Hungry for Hungarian. Little Mac! Oh yeah, from um, Punch Out. Butch, yeah. Walk out. Uh, clip show, clip show. What's that from? Lollipop. Mike Bruno. Bomber, bomber Bob. I like that. Hello, Reese Williams. Welcome, welcome in, Reese. You walking, Robin? Um, Quiff Amsbank. Am's Club, Apollo Creed, Ferocious Cliff, Punch Out Yet, yeah. Balrog, Scott Joplin, Cliff Richard, Patrick. Uh, Pat Rick. Oh, Pat. Uh, oh, Boxer at Boxer Face. I like that, Hey Hunt. Roland Perry. <laughs> Russ Abbott. Hard Dick. Mike. Not reading that out. I'm not playing as Dino Dini. Percy Stroker. <laughs> I like Percy Stroker. Oh no, we won't. I couldn't. I couldn't backspace to delete. I didn't know we were limited. Oh no, we're we're playing as Percy Percy T Percy. I can't. And then like it auto accepted it. I did press enter. I tried to backspace and delete the name. Uh, it just auto accepted it. Great, great job, great job, Coda. What's a Perse Percy's T? I don't know. I don't know. We can't go back and change it now. All right, let's just get in and fight. Seconds out, round one. So the sampled speech um, doesn't work. Okay. What? So I'm the guy in the blue. Hang on, why is that? My fire button's broken. Hang on, let me just, let me just change my control here. Oh, let's try that. Oh, that's better. What the? Why is the joystick not working? My energy is so low. Oh! Oh! He's about to knock me out, though. Oh, no! 
Uh, yeah, where's the 3D in this? <laughs> Percy Saint. Did I did I get knocked out? Yeah, where where's the 3D here? <laughs> this looks good for 85. Am I out? Percy versus Quasi. Are you coming back later, are you, Lucas? All right, mate, we'll catch you in a bit. Are you golfing? <laughs> You got am socked. Where can I donate food for that people? Yeah, they look a bit unwell in the audience, don't they? Oh, I'm, am I still in it? I think I'm still in it. What's the with the controls? I think there's something off with the controls here. It doesn't seem to work very well on keyboard, but on joystick, it's all right. Seems a bit unresponsive, weirdly. Oof! Okay. Zypho turns an ants off into an ants hard. All right, so that's some... Let's take him out. Come on. Oh! Oh my goodness, my energy is quite low. It's a workout which fighter doesn't like which punch. And why are we fighting a guy called Quasi? Uh, I quite like the boxer sprites. The animations are a bit jittery. Oh! It's a knockout! Count! Six, seven, eight, nine, ten! The crowd goes wild. Well, they don't really do anything. Because we don't have any sampled speech. And I think the sampled speech has the crowd noises. What happens now? We're fighting Roland! <laughs> Did that even connect? Yeah. It doesn't look like the punches are actually anywhere near the person. You get a punch that goes like here. There's the fighter. He seems to knock him back. Ro Are we fighting Roland Routes, Roland Perry, or the Roland character? Who knows? The Roland Corporation. Cosimodo, Quasi the Chancellor. Quasi Quamberg. Is, is that his name? I can never remember. That awful... T I, I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Um, I think the issue with speech of the emulator is the speech was generated by the add-on card and pipe straight to connected speakers. The Empire back in CPC. There's the Java CPC emulator that um, uh, that does emulate it, but um, I don't know any other emulator that does. I will play you a video of it in action um, shortly. Let's let's fight Roland. Oh, oh! I've got the rhythm here. The body, and then to the head. Oh, Roland! We've knocked out Roland! Wow! Roland looks a lot like Quasi, yes. And now we're fighting Mikhail. Oh god, Mikhail's not mucking about. It's a shame he doesn't really change up the fighters or anything like that. I, I, it's no Barry McGuigan boxing. Oh! We knocked him out! Hello, Zombie Peaks! you never seen a boxing game from Amsoft. Well, there you go. Here it is. 3D boxing. Michael was no match for Fling Long Chop. Hang on. Why are we fighting Roland again? Oh, I think you have to fight. I think you have to fight the opponents twice through. That's why. Okay. Guys, I think you can uh, start giving this marks out of 10 and we can move on, I think. 
I think we've kind of seen what this game has to offer, really. It's a nice, it's a nice entry from Amsoft. Yeah. One out of ten. Zypho is the heavyweight champion of the world. Oh, it's kind of nice for 1985, I suppose. Hang on, Jeff! We're fighting Jeff now! Sorry, I didn't mean to skip forward there. I want you to take him, we're fighting. My name's Jeff. I don't know, I'll give it like a six and a half out of ten, probably, for me. Is this the last fighter? It might be the last fighter. I didn't think we saw a Jeff. I named Jeff. <laughs> oh! We knocked out Jeff! It's too easy! We are the champion! The champion is Percy. Percy Saint Percy. Nice shooting, son. What's your name? My name's Jeff. <laughs> not bad for a boxer game, to be honest. It's, it's not easy on the micros. It's also a little bit too easy. Sadly. Do you want to see and hear the sample speech? Right. So I did a, I did do a long play of this. Amstrad 3D Boxing. Let's see. Right, okay. Right. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. There's my video on it here. Let me just skip forward. Strad CPC, released by Amsoft in 19... Aim with my 464 when it was bought new. The back of your Amstrad, along with two stereo speakers. There, there you go. The idea was it could produce synthesized speech, which is rather robotic and crap. There's the speakers <laughs> on your Amstrad whenever you want. And there's, there is and the back of the Amstrad. That's the that's too. the SSA1 speech synthesizer I was talking about, and the two speakers, two speakers, and that's the SSA1 there. But very few games took advantage of it though, with only nine titles, including 3D Boxing, that used it. Nearly all of them were yep. from Amsoft. These being Snooker, Glen Hoddle Soccer, oh. Nuclear Defense, Roland in Space, and Tuberuba, with one other non-Amsoft game being Dark World. So all right, there you go. yeah, the device didn't really catch on. 3D Boxing, though, was the title intended to sell this device. Volume of the video up a bit. Case was packaged with the SSA1. And the... Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to skip through it anyway. I'll talk, I'll talk you through it. So, let's... Marcus, who's a member of the tape reaching all its glory. I'll turn it up a little bit if I can. screen here. Oh, and this music brings back memories. The tape version took an absolute high speed. <laughs> Hear that? They were limited in 1985. Did you hear that? There's your first taste of the synthesized speech there. Just right, I'll skip choice. it forward. I'll skip it forward. Uh, in the game, the first one is Mad Joe. Then we fight a guy called Quasi. Yeah. Uh, and then we actually fight a guy right. called Roland. We actually fight Roland himself here. Right, hang on. Here we go. You should be able to hear it now. Okay. And also, there was a two-player option, which is actually really, really good fun. Here we go. Let's start. Right, sorry if you didn't hear that very well there. That again. Did you hear that? Here we go. Let's start. That again. Right. The sample speech, unfortunately, plays really too fast. It, it, it goes seconds out round one, seconds out round one. Oh, yeah, Muso. There was also the DK-tronic speech synthesizer. It's really, honestly, sorry, it's not that impressive. Let's start. I kind of talked again, over it a little bit there. Sorry, guys. Far too quickly, the speech there. The head. Uh, Let's knock this guy down. Hang on, where is it? He's down. You see the computer does try to block and counter. Ready? But the first opponent is down. No energy left. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eight, eight, nine, 
so you heard it going it, it does the count it does the count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and it goes it's a knockout that's what you get on the sample speech did you hear that yeah, how exciting there first eight, opponent two, he's down no energy eight, left seven, eight, nine, ten. There you go. That's that. You get some other bits and bobs of sample speech, but it's really not that not worth it that much, is it? All right. Okay. Okay. So um, there you go. It was kind of impressive back in the day, says Technic. Yeah, it kind of was. It was a bit like when you were about six, seven years old, and you're getting that kind of robotic speech coming back at you. And with the speech synthesizer, you could type words in on the Amstrad's, um, like, what you, what you could do, you do, like, bar, you could do bar speech, and then you could do, like, um, bums and willies and stuff like that, and you could make it say bums, willies, and all that kind of stuff, um, yeah, yeah, Flibble. You had to take the words weirdly, though, due to the way it constructed words. Yeah, so, yeah, you'd have to type it like, um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. If you wanted to type a, uh, I don't know. To, take, to make it sound like you were saying something other than that word, if you know what I mean. Yes, yeah. You know exactly exactly so yeah yeah so uh scores out of, let me just get the scores out of 10 for 3d boxing then what have we got then for 3d boxing right um so we got a seven and a half out of 19 that's bloody or stop being awkward man shovel Yeah, uh, can I have a proper score for me, man, Shovel? Oh, I'm going to have to skip over that one. So we've got 1 out of 10 from CDJ. Or I, I can't work that what, what that one would be. You know, if it's... Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm going to skip over that, man, Shovel. 4 out of 10 from Darren. Blue Planet gives it a 5. Uh, oh, no, you got oh you got a proper score like just below that. 7.5. 7.5. Thank you, man, Shovel. That's right, okay. Um, Trey, hello Trey Welcome into the Amstream You're giving it a 2 out of 10, thank you Exotic Geeks gives it a 6 uh, Pete Walker a 5 uh, Dreamy a 5 Henri a 7 Malke a 6 Ghetto Crew a 3 Blibble a 7 Heihon a 5 Robin Hook a 5 Oh, MyZT asked How are the um, Controls? Um... A tiny bit laggy. A tiny bit laggy. Okay, but... Yeah. Meh. Um, uh, Kev Al. Hello, Kev Al. How you doing, Kev? Had this game as a kid. Thought it was rubbish. Couldn't tell when I was being here. At least Barry's game, you could tell when you were here. Yes. It's all a bit haphazard. So, I gave it a six and a half. I think I gave it probably about a seven out of ten in my video. But I've, I've lessened the score. Um... Rod, Johnny Boy gives it a 7. Sorry. Uh, Mrs. Zypho gives it a 6. Uh, Paul Haywood gives it a 7. Magic Knight gives it a 6. Uh, OSG gives it an 8. Jolly gives it a 5. And then we got lots of GGs. Um, uh, Zypho, this is gratuitous advertising for your own YouTube channel. Worse than that time I did Raid Shadow Legends. I thought we weren't gonna. I thought we weren't ever gonna bring that up again. <laughs> Good grief. Um, oh, and eighties Russia gamer. I think gave that a five. Some more scores there. Technic a six. Uh, more to seven and Mike ZT a seven. Right. I was a bloody typer, was it? Bad shovel earlier. No worries. I shall let you off that. Oh, and some more scores there. Zombie Peaks, uh, 5. Mrs. Zyfe, I think I already got a score from you earlier. That's fine. Uh, Flibble, a 6. Kev Howe, a 4. I never enjoyed it. 
Right, okay. So. I got you your scores. I took them in a spreadsheet here. Let's get the average of the... Oh, gosh. Let's get the average of the 27 scores there. And that gives an average, see down the bottom here, of 5.46. So, hard to see on the screen, I know. It's an average of 5, and we'll give it, round it up to 5.5. So, 3D boxing gets a 5.5. But they're ready. So, number game number 84. 3D boxing from Amsoft in 1985. Sports. There we go. 3D boxing. Oh, a lowly five and a half, but probably fair. Probably fair. Right. Okay. Right. We're going to find out what the next game is. Let's back up then. Okay. Thank you, chat. Five and a half is about right. Do you know what? Probably on balance. Probably on balance. It's probably about right. Okay. Oh, sponsored content has donated one pound. Oh, no. oh it's, you've opened the floodgates again about Raid Shadow Legends. I can see the dono message. Your fault, your fault. Raid Shadow Legends is a turn-based mobile <laughs> RPG where you can simulate combat with your favourite Ewok friend. <laughs> Thank you. Um, sponsored content for the one pound. Oh, the emails come through. The emails for the other donos haven't. Weirdly, they've gone lost into the ether. Um, but this one came through. Thank you. I thought that might have been GP. That was that was. Rage of Legends is a turn-based hard mobile RPG. We can simulate combat with your favourite Ewok friend. That was Mad Shovel. Exclamation mark pumpkins in the chat for man shovel there. There we go. There we go. Let the uh, pumpkins and bananas rain down for man shovel. Um, there we go. You pay for new style gaming's PS5 and you love Raid Shadow Legends. Fair enough. There you go. There you go. Enjoy it, mate. And I hope he enjoys it too. Awesome stuff. Right. Let thank you, man shovel. <laughs> Next game. Hello, Matt Myers. How you doing, buddy? Sorry if I missed you earlier. Welcome in, Matt. Welcome. Right. Next game. We've only got three or few. God, we need to speed up. It's been a night and a half. Right. Right. Next game is... Oh! Oh! Edouard and Henri. I hope you're still here. This was a very popular game in France, I'm told. 3D Fights from Laurie Seals. Still on the free. We haven't even got to letter A yet tonight. <laughs> and we're nearly two hours into the stream. But this is, is this is a cool game. I know this one. 3D fights from Laurie Seals. Um, I know the French love this game. This is a cool one. 3D fights from Laurie Seals. I think I did. I think I've done a long play of this on my YouTube channel. And they've got a lot of views. All the views were from, were from France. Lovely, lovely box art here. Let me just move my chat window away just for a second. Nice box art. Wouldn't that entice you in if you saw it on the shelves in WH Smiths? Uh, I don't know if this ever came to the UK or not. I don't know whether it did or not. Let's see, is, is there a UK box art? No. No. But 3D fight. Yeah. Hello, David Jenner. Welcome. Welcome in, mate. Oh, Darren Connor. Good night. Um, good night, my friend. Take care. Good luck with the shop. Good luck with the painting. Um, yes, it was, says Henry. Awesome. Awesome. Hello again, Matt. All right. This is a bit of a hidden gem for us um, roast beefs, as the French call us in the UK. Um, nice little game, this. Right. Right, let's get this loaded up. 3D fight. 3D fight. Munch to Blibble Sam. Oh, 
Have a good weekend, Darren. I'm going to pause my music there. I think we got a tune here. How are you doing, Mr. Jenner? Hope you're keeping well. Oh, what a tune. I'm going to grab a quick drink from the fridge, guys. Packing like two sets. Music, oh, uh, music by Michael or Michelle. What's his name? Well, uh, Winner Winner Gradoff. Um, he was very well known on the uh, French sort of like um, commercial game scene. Did, uh, did some fantastic music. Uh, Winner Gradoff. Great little game this. I remember. Let me just check. What have I got as my fire key? Uh, let's get that one. Okay. And off we go. Oh! Oh, we got wrecked already. Right, I think I'm going to play with my joystick. No, you know what I mean. Not, you know, it's not a euphemism. I mean, I'm going to get my arcade stick out. Get this bad boy out. Right. Ooh, yeah, yeah, getting the big guns out. Kind of, it's, well, it's got a 3D feeling to it. I think it's the first 3D game, really, that can, can lay claim to a kind of a 3D feel to it for once. Yeah. Oh, got to avoid the um, meteors. Push up to this. Oh, I've got to get party termini. UAOP better than any joystick. Ah, nah. I think when you when you've got flight controls, I think you you need to be steering around the screen on this one. Joystick for this one. Otherwise, I'm always on joystick uh, or I'm always on keyboard pretty much um, for most um, retro games tray. Button on Zypho. There we go. Oh, okay. Screw that up. Uh, no party for Zypho. Looks okay for an early, 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 early game from 1985. Oh. Oh, we've got a tunnel. Oh, I like how it varies. Sometimes it will start you on a completely different level. That's poggers. I like that. Oh, that's a fuel thing I shot, and that replenishes your fuel. Oh, I love, like, these kind of 3D tunnel bits. It's like um, that Book Rogers game in the arcade. Did anyone play that Book Rogers Planet of Zoom? Oh! There's a radar and it tells you there was uh, enemies coming from behind. Thing. Ah. Oh, it was a beep warning you they're coming from behind. Yeah. 
This is cool. I love this. Oh, trippy. You've got to get used to like, the reverse axis. Oh, we did a level. Bonus 1000. You push up to go down and pull back to go up. That's what I'm just trying to get used to. I like this. I like this a lot. What? Uh, it's like Space Harrier meets Book Rogers, uh, Planet of Zoom. Is this, is this sound effects a little bit too loud? Oh, it is. The sound effects are too loud. Sorry, guys. I just realised. Let me just turn the volume down. I turned it up for 3D boxing when I was looking at the video. Um, uh, this actually looks mint. I would have loved this as a kid. I would too. If you think, guys and girls, of like... Um, all those AMSOFT games around at the time that we played lots of Galactic Plague, Space Hawks, um, and all those other AMSOFT games and all that kind of stuff. If you had this instead of them, we would be playing it all the time. Zyfe, do you like things shooting up from behind? You're asking the wrong person. Ask GP. <laughs> 80's rush game. Now I'm tripping balls. Now I've had taken my CPD. <laughs> Are you talking about this, this game or actually what you're doing at home right now? Um, Henri, did you have this as a kid growing up this game? Uh, Zoe says, this looks absolutely brilliant. I think this is cracking for 1985. May, may not have aged well. Uh, and it's hard to target things. Uh, but... Yeah, it's got that Book Rogers Planet of Zoom meets uh, a little bit of Space Harrier and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Oh, both 80s Retro Gamer. <laughs> right, fair enough. Enjoy, my friend. It's the weekend. Fenrir. This does look pretty cool. Like, yeah. How's Ellen doing? Hello to Ellen. She's there with you, by the way, Fenrir. Um, Edward, did you have this one as well, Mr. Berger, if you're still there? Um, Blue Planet's liking the look of this one as well. Uh, we know, we know Gradoff sounds like the coolest singer in a Teutonic heavy metal band. <laughs> yeah, man, Shivel. Right. Um, I was, I'm going to be talking about Henri in my upcoming new video for my YouTube channel. I will be having um, some footage of a Thompson home computer. And talking about the Thompson computers, in, uh, interestingly, Henri. Wait and see. She's not me at the moment, but we're both doing okay. How are you doing? I'm all right, my friend. I'm all right. You got an interesting plan for the weekend? This game is called What Again Typo. This is a 3D fight. 3D fight. You can start putting scores at 10 in the chat if you want, boys and girls. I like how the stages vary as well. There's a meat. Avoid the meteor stage. You can't shoot these meteors. Oh, we got quite far there as well. Is that game over? Oh no, I flew into the fuel straight away. I love the little jingles and music as well. Botranam. Oh, I can't do... Uh, it's like that other French game we played earlier. I can't do backspace to delete an incorrect entry. Never mind. Oh well. Oh well, that was 3D fight. Put your scores in at a tent in the chat. I'm going to give it one more go because it's been by far the best game of the night so far. Man Shovel, Interceptor 3D from Tronic Verlag is basically trying to do this game. Yeah, I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. I mean, I think it would have aged badly. 
it's not perfect because it's hard to kind of like target enemies at times. You need like a little crosshair where you're actually going to shoot, but I love the change of colours. That's nice. You get a little palette change as you move between sections. And I don't know if there's like an end of game anywhere. I can't remember. It's biscuits. Oh, you can just hold down the fire button and he shoots continuously. Nice. That beat means they're coming from behind. Oh, arse. Dead. One life left. And I got wrecked. I think I did a long play of this game on my channel a while ago. Let's have a look at that, see if there is an ending. Oh, they're coming from behind. Arse oh, bandits. Ah. Uh. Party Termini! There we go. There we go. 3D fight. What a game. What a game. That's good. Sweet. Um, your Thompson MO5s at school. Yeah, you can, it's kind of like the answer to the UK's BBC Micros. Thompson MO5s were like, got into your French schools, didn't they? But they were quite low, quite low spec computers, sadly, from what I can understand. Right, so the school's out of 10 from this one. Uh, someone... Um, let's just check I've not missed any scores earlier on. It's a shame there wasn't any crosshairs in the game. Manager will point that out earlier. Oh, Zoe had the first score. 8 out of 10 from Game Hammer. Blue Planet gave it a 9. High scores, definitely. Uh, Al K gave it a 6. Not everyone's cup of tea. That's fine. Absolutely fine. Like wipeouts. There's none of your... Hello, none of your beers. Sorry I missed you there. Welcome in, none of your beers. How are you? Uh, Man Shivel says 9.5. It's effing fantastic for 1985. It is. It's really good. It was a very popular game in France, uh, from my understanding. Alright, 80s retro gamer, 7 out of 10. Old Star Gaming gives it a 9. Wow. Wow. He's been, he's been a generous he's been generous tonight. He's in a good mood, OSG. He's been he's been in quite a good mood recently. <laughs> Wonder why that is. Oh, he's got that Ray Shadows money legend come through. That's why. Right. Ghetto Crew gives it an 8. Uh, sorry, a 9. Uh, Henri gives it an 8. Maud an 8. Uh, Andy H an 8. Uh, Johnny a 7. Uh, where were we? Uh, Dreamy a 7.5. Uh, hey, Han. Hey, Han. How you doing? Hey, on again. 8 out of 10. Uh, Fenric gives it an 8 out of 10. Pretty impressive, especially for 95. Good controls as well. It's got weird sort of floaty controls. He, 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 the, the ship has got inertia on it as well. So he sort of goes... <laughs> so you got to get used to... The, I didn't point that out when I was playing. So there's like a weird inertia on the ship. It's kind of... Hard to get used to. It's it's, it's interesting. Uh, Matt Myers gives it an 8. And Al K gives it an 8. What did this get on CPC Power? I'll have a look again in a second for you, mate. Um, Al K gives it a... Uh... Oh, sorry. Matt Myers an 8. Uh, Al K an 8. Kev Howe gives it an 8. Uh, 
Uh, that was Kev's, sorry. Right, um, where am I? Paul Hayward, an eight. And Robin, an eight. Retro Busts, an eight. I'm going to lose my place here. Okay, I'm waiting for my 10 out of 10 Amstrad games, so don't skip the RPGs. Uh, we might have to skip a few of them, I don't know. Andy P, hello Andy P, welcome. And thank you for the score there, 8 out of 10. Oh, are you happy because you got your car, new car? Ah, that's why he's happy, boy, he's got his new car. He's got a Ford. Right, we've got 23 votes in. Not as many as last time, but that's cool. That's okay. And we've got an average score. I'll show you. There's all the votes we've got in there. Sorry, my car. Blah, chairs in the way. Oh, you trust me. You trust me. You trust me. I'm sure you do. And the average there down the bottom was 7.97. So we'll round that up to an 8, okay? I will give it, it does Every, loads of eights for that one, wasn't there? That was game number 85. That was uh, 3D. Oops, fight. Um, Laurie Seals 1985. Oh, what genre is that? It's like an into the screen shooter, it's a gallery shooter rather than shoot 'em up. Oh, thank you for your score, Imagine I 8 out of 10. I suppose that would affect the uh, overall average. Yeah, gallery shooter, single screen shoot them up. Singles, that's the, yeah, gallery shooter. Because it's more like Space Invaders kind of thing. Yeah, that's the genre we kind of came up Yeah. Single screen shoot them up, gallery shooter. Yeah, yeah. That'll do. Is that how you spell lorry seals? Lorry seals. Lorry. Yeah. I'll score on here. 14 out of 20. So, 7 out of 10 average score. That's interesting. Some low scores. Some, some maximum scores. Wow. That's a, lot, a fair amount of scores on CPC Power. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, there you go. Right. That was 3D Fight. I wouldn't play more of it, but we've got to move on. We've got to move on. May you pronounce it like it sounds like lorry feels. Yeah, I know. Le, I don't know how you pronounce it in French. Le, le, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how the French pronounce lorry seals. Le, lorry seals? I don't know. Modge too. Right. Anyway, moving on. Moving on. What's next after 3D fight? Let's have a look. Quick drink. Quick drink actually first. It's not lorry seal. But it's lorry. Lorry. Ciel. Ciel? Lorry Ciel? Is that right, Henri? Can I have a thumbs up if that's Lorry Ciel? Lorry Ciel. Yes! <laughs> Break out the Chateau Nerf de Pap, Jolly Boy. <laughs> Perfect. Lorry Ciel. Lorry Ciel. I'm. <laughs> I'll have forgotten by next week, though, Henry. <laughs> Excellent. My French is improving. <laughs> All right. Brilliant. Brilliant. All right. Next game, then. Let's put a smile on my face, Henry. <laughs> I still call you Henry when it's Henri. <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> Alright, mercy, Yanni. Mercy. Right. Okay. After 3D fights, what have we got next? <laughs> oh, 
I can see my face dropping in the camera as well there. Uh, <laughs> 3D four in a row. Oh, hang on. We might be excluding this. This looks like a uh, computer listing game. <coughs> Competing with the Amstrad. So I think we're not. We're excluding this one. We're excluding magazine listing games. From competing with the Amstrad. Um, I think this is a magazine typing game. Uh, from the M's between volume one it's from this compilation ah uh, it's from a computer compilation yep yeah, no we're excluding these don't worry this is just a cheap compilation from a magazine, computing with the uh, computing with the Amstrad. Was that a magazine, wasn't it? One of the UK Amstrad magazines, the CPC, computing with the Amstrad. Yes, it's a magazine, and they spun up a compilation thingy from typings. Yeah, no typings. <laughs> so we're not doing this one. Balls to that. Okay, so moving on. Not what's the next game? Oh, all right. Okay, 3D Grand Prix. That's an actual good game. This is highly regarded as one of Amsoft's best ever games. Excellent, excellent. Okay. Um, I know not everyone's going to be a racing racing car like fan, but I won't. Tr I try not to play this for too long. Um, but actually, this is an impressive game, if I remember correctly, an Amsoft Gold label as well. 3D Grand Prix. Ooh, and he didn't know this was from Amsoft. Am's car time. Well, Am's racer time. Thank you for reminding me, Flibble. Um, this is actually pretty, pretty impressive, actually. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is highly regarded, actually. Uh, I don't want to big it up too much and then disappoint people who haven't seen it before. But yeah, yeah. Okay. Pretty Grand Prix. Oh, he's dreamy off. Uh, got to go to bed now. Take care, everyone. Have a nice weekend. Good night and sweet dreams. Sweet dreams, dreamy. Take care. Have a lovely weekend and lovely to see you again, dreamy. Take care. And good night. Take care. Batman transition, please. I will do. I will do. Right. Really Grand Prix. Greedy. TP version of Checkered Flag. Oh, I don't know. I was really impressed with this round my mate. Oh, did I miss Ghetto Crew? Sorry. I'm going to hit my bed. Good night, guys. Oh, good night, Ghetto Crew. Take care, uh, Justy. Have a great weekend. 3D GP. <laughs> Oh. See all of GP's sensitive bits in full three-dimensional glory. Go to www.onlywelshies.co.uk. I'm not clicking that link on stream. I'm not clicking that link on stream. Wherever that is. Um, 3D GP. <laughs> I'm not uh, um, a three-dimensional GP. Good lord. Uh, thank you, Math Man Shovel. I've just seen on my phone. Thank you, Man Shovel. For the uh, one pound twenty eight. Oh, the hundred twenty eight k. Thank you, man shovel. Put those pumpkins in the chat for man shovel. Thank you, man shovel. <laughs> Only Welshies .uk. Oh my goodness. Yikes. Yeah, I'm not sure I want that in my browser his history. Or oh, I want to see GP sensitive bits. Is GP still here? I think he's fallen asleep, isn't he? And night, night, Justy, as well. Sorry, I missed you there. Right. Computing the Amstrad uh, would not be a cheap compilation. Those be machine code typings. Very cool stuff. 
Really, Zoe? Oh. They're probably decent stuff. But, um... We, we've excluded magazine type-ins because we just... We'd we never get through the A to Z. I just had to draw a line somewhere. Just had to draw a line somewhere. <laughs> Johnny boy. Crudite a la plata. <laughs> I just seen that, Johnny boy. Right. Um, they merged with Antics. Ah, it's an early Euro press magazine. Ah, right. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. Hopefully, I can work out how to play this. Right. One second, guys. I think it's time to go not to the AMS car, but to, if I've got it, I have. We haven't brought out the AMS racer from the garage for a long time. To the AMS racer. There we go. And I think we need some proper racing music. I think we've got the Top Gear 2 soundtrack. All right, here we go. Here we are. Hello. In the AMS racer. All right, press space to start. Run, run, run. Red light. Fourth gear. Dropping down the gears. Ooh. Break, 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 break. Oh, getting around that bend. Oh, see, I'm soft on that uh, car spoiler. Can't seem to get past him, though. So, let me just turn the music up a touch. Because that car noise is a little bit annoying, <laughs> to be honest. It's not really drowning it out. What I remember is it's re oh, it it's going to neutral to start. It's really hard to overtake cars. No Am's car. Am's racer. Hello, Corin. Welcome, Corin. Good to see you again, my friend. You like the AMS racer? Excellent. Richard Jimenez says floor it. I'm trying. Fourth gear. Can we overtake? When you hear that squeeding noise, it, it's you're about to spin off. Oh, he, oh, he comes in front of me. It's impressively large sprites here. I love the the, the uh, wheel turning animations. Going down a gear. Breaky, 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 breaky. Help you overtake. Get out of my way! Oh, you son of a bitch! Come on! They should, he should be, he deliberately went in front of me there. That that has got to be, he's got to be in trouble for that, surely. He went right up his ass. Fourth gear, we've overtaken him, guys. I've just realised. There's rear view mirrors. How awesome is that? And it's all in real time. That is amazing. Can we just take, I'm just taking a break here just for a second. Let me just catch up in the chat here. Uh, floor it. <laughs> I'm trying, Richard, I'm trying. Uh, only games of commercial release as well. Yes, that's a good point, man, Shovel, yeah. Um, uh, hey, no worries about excluding them. I just wanted you to uh, wanted to make sure you know they were good quality games. No, absolutely. Please do bring that point up there. Oh, hang on. Lorry CL. I got it right. 
I got it right. I donated five pounds. What the fart? I'm oh, sorry, Lord Sugar's wigging in my face there. Can the bot pronounce it as perfectly as you did, Zypho? Marissa Lowry C L. It didn't really. Let's be honest. <laughs> Lauriciel has donated five pounds. Was that man shovel or was that Henri? That was Henri. Henri, thank you very much. Holy crap, Henri. That was Henri. Ba um, thank you very, very, very much, Henri, for the five pounds. Like, we have bananas in the chat for Henri. Posing as the Lauriciel there. I'm pronouncing it, still pronouncing it correctly. Thank you, Henri. That was very kind of you there. Cheers, Henri. Thank you. The bot sort of did. It nearly got it right. Thank you, Henri. Cheers, Henri. Thank you. Merci. Merci, Henri. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that was very kind of you. Cheers, Henri. Cheers. Only an Amstrad makes it possible. Anna! I forgot to ask, where did you sliver out from this evening? This time, and have you been farting in any buckets, Anna? <laughs> um, quick drink. Corrin, how have you been as well? How have you been keeping, my friend? It's nice to see you back on the Amstream as well, Corrin. Only the right side wheels are turning. This wheel is turning. It's just really hard to spot. I need to try and add some grain to it or something like that. Uh, this game is quite impressive for an 85 am soft game. I know. The 3D fight before it was impressive. This is also impressive. All right. Let's get back to the track. We'll put Top Gear on again. Soundtrack. Been watching, but couldn't uh, like very very long long. Work. Oh, Corin, sorry to hear you've been working hard. As a word, a reward for your perfect pronunciation. Henri, mercy, mercy, Henri. Oh, I just realised we're in third position. We're third. See if we can get second here. Can we get past this guy? Drop down a gear. Firing down to change gears. Firing up to go up a gear, of course. Down to uh, put brakes on. Second position. Can we take first? We're in first place! Oh, what went off the track there? We've got rear view mirrors. That how awesome is that? Lap one, lap two! And we're in first position. This is awesome. This is a really good simulation. I, lo I love that, the, the uh, tyre effects there as well. And it's honestly... It... Oh, that is awesome. Uh, how many laps in a race? Do you, does anybody know? Here is a small reward for a short holiday. Did you enjoy the holiday? Good. <laughs> nice black adder quote there. I need 50 laps to go. Right, scores out of 10 for 3D Grand Prix. Uh, this is seriously impressive for 1985. Because honestly, there has been attempts at like sort of pre, um, like um, Formula One racing games ever since on the Amstrad Spectrum and stuff. But I haven't beaten this. I honestly can't think of a better um, Formula 1 racing game on the Amstrad since. Nish, you, you've got a good knowledge. Um, 
Has there been a better Formula One racing game? Even, um, neither of the Nigel Mansell games beat this. Super Monaco Grand Prix doesn't beat this. Is there a better Formula One racing game on the Amstrad than this one? Answers in the chat as well. We're about to go into third place. Oh, we skidded off. Oh, no. We're now in fourth place. This is a disaster. Oh, look how easy now it is to skid off. I think this might be by the same guy who did revs. I might be wrong. Because this, this game also came out on the BBC Micro. Oh, we're in a... Sp oh my god, we aquaplaned it off. I don't... I don't know. It might not be Jeff Crammon then. I might be getting mixed up. Oh, we're proper screwed now. Look how easy it is to muck up. We're now in eighth position. Definitely isn't by Jeff Crammon. Okay, I was wrong. Forget I said that. Yeah. Ah! It's all going Pete Tong. You think Nigel Mansell's Grand Prix and Continental Circus the best ones on the app? I think this is far more of a simulation than um, Continental Circus. That's far more arcadey, definitely. See, I tried to rush it and I completely screwed it up. 10th place now. Break in. And to fourth gear. Fourth gear. Get out of my way. Oh, we've got a lot of work to do to get uh, higher. Oh, we're going to give up anyway. Oh, for our sakes. But yeah, moves really fast, really smoothly. The, the physics are great on this. you got a really good sense of speed. The only thing that's a little bit annoying is the sound effects. It does get in, maybe get in your nerves a little bit. Maybe if there's maybe if a slightly better engine noise. Mm. The horizon scrolling left and right there. Look, that, that looks good. But this is one of the best racing and driving games on the Amstrad, definitely, I'd say. One one by Mastronic was brutal, but okay. Um. Forget what, Zai. Um, me getting, winning this race, probably. Russian room says room. Okay. Oh no, we're in a spin. We're in a spin. Bad things happen. We're screwed. One of the best car games on the Amstrad. I don't think this could be top top five. Could be. At the moment. Get out my way, arsehole. We're in position 12 now.
And we're wrecked. All right, let's take the scores then. Let's have a look. Right. I'll take about the easy comment. So, yeah. So, if you get two... Com what happened there is, I think, Cosmic Murmur, I got too complacent being in first position. And I thought, oh, yeah, this is easy. And I started trying to get going around too fast, around the corners. And it all went very Pete Tong. So, oh, yeah, it went very, very badly, badly wrong. And I got too cocky. There we go. Right, I'll get your scores out of 10. If anybody wants to venture any more scores, put them in. Anna farts into a bucket of water to help the base. <laughs> what I need is some fire behind my tyres now because I've probably absolutely knackered the AMS racer. Blue Planet gave it a 7 out of 10. I think you were the first score. Um... Right, 80s Rush Gamer gave it an 8. Uh, CBC Game Reviews gives it a 7. Game Hammer gave it a 7. Al K gave it an 8. Uh, Barry gave it a 7. Paul Hayward an 8. Dutty Geet an 8. Jolly a 9. Just Jace, a 10. A perfect 10. Wow. Matt Myers. A seven. Heihon a seven. Okay. Right, where did I get to then? Uh, Robin Hook, the retro games with a seven. Flibble Sun, an eight. Good lad. Um blah, blah, blah. Henri, a seven. Horan, an eight. Uh Anna, an eight. Johnny Boy, an eight. This is a great game. Cosmic Murmur, just seem a tad easy though, graphically impressive. Ah, so you said he seemed a tad easy. Nah. Uh, more than eight. OSG says, Revs of Circuit is better than this. Oh yeah, I read that out earlier. Hmm. I think Nigel Mansell's Grand Prix. Yeah, I saw that dish, yeah. I don't know about Nigel Mansell being better. I think I prefer this to Nigel Mansell's, the first Nigel Mansell game, yeah. Uh, do you know what, what's the red gauge on the far left? Oh, good point. I don't know. Fuel level or tyre pressure? I, or tyre tire damage? I don't know what the fuel... Does anybody know what that red... Um, there's a red... Hang on. Does anybody know what this red gauge is for on the left? Answers in the chat. I think Continental Circus is more fun, but technically this is the better game, Flibble, I would say. That was a Maud. I've got last score there from Maud. 8 out of 10. Welcome back, Retro and Lim. Jeff Cremond is a legend. Yes. Uh, oh, there were some more scores there. Sorry. Uh, Manshivel gives it a 7. Uh, and the H a 6. Oops. Oh. Uh, Vimster a six. Play, uh, none, none of your beers an eight. Oh, Game Hammer. Zoe, sorry, I missed you saying that. Right, time I was off. Take care, everyone. Good night, Zoe. Live long and prosper. Have a great weekend. And thanks for being here again. You take care. Good night. And have an, uh, have an awesome weekend. Um, seven from Blue Planet. Andy P is seven and a half. And everyone, should make sure you tune into Game Hammer on YouTube for some awesome content and streams as well. Uh, Con Corrin gives it a seven. Retro and Lim a seven. OSG an eight. My God, lots of scores actually for this one. Flibble an eight. Andrea seven. Uh, Arnie a seven. Retro busts an eight. And Magic Knight and 8. Wow, lots of scores this one. Yeah, I think I'll give it an 8.5. He was here earlier, Matt Myers, the, G the cheeky GP. He might have dozed off. I didn't see him say goodbye there or anything. <gasps> Ooh, it's a close one. Right, I'll show you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Zipping out the AMS car there. That's all the scores we got in there. 
Uh, it's, um, selecting them all gives us an average, and it's very sm hot, small to see there, gives us an average of 7.57. So, yeah, rounding that down, uh, yeah, we'll round it to about 7.5. That's harsh. I thought it'd be slightly higher, but 7.5 is the average score. How's that? Maybe some scores of about 6 out of 10 drags it down. Is, it, is that really how the averaging works out? Does this game have a pit? It doesn't, LK, I don't think. Is it a fuel? Temperature of fuel? Oh, te it's temperature. Uh, LK says it's temperature. You are overheating. 10.6. We're going like half scores in this in the other spreadsheet. We were we're doing half scores here. Seven and a half. I don't know. Zypher, I'm a liar. Alright, as he was fuel. The fuel went up on the next lap. It was like I, I remember seeing that red bar being halfway down. And then on the next lap, it jumped up again. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know what that red bar is then. Oops. 3D Grand Prix. Amsoft. 1985. Racing. Seven and a half. Feels like that should be an eight. Do you, need to, do you need me to fart in the bucket again, Zypo? Please, yeah, go ahead. We've got loads of 8s and 9s and 10s. Uh, there's, a fair, there's a few 7s. Feels like that average. You can't judge your game by watching it. Yeah. Turbo boost bar. I wish, Maud. I guess, that. well, that's the average. Yeah, the average is the average. We've got a couple of sixes there. What if I put my score as a nine? <laughs> I'm changing my score to a nine. What does that make it? So 7.58, so whatever. <laughs> so seven average of 7.58. All right, okay. It just seems a bit low. I thought I think I think 3D Grand Prix deserves about an eight out of ten, but that's what you guys have voted. So yeah, <laughs> Mame Hayes has given it a ten. Oh, he hadn't voted, has he? <laughs> we'll put Mame Hayes' score in. <laughs> All right, what happens now? God, this is so cheat. Still a 7.6. Still a 7.6. It's still closer to 7.5 than it is an 8. You have the final say, Zypho. Say 8. Both my wife and the dog give it a 10. <laughs> I just came on, but I'll give it a 10. For... <laughs> Lister Smeg gives it a 10. <laughs> what does that give it? 7.7 7 something. All right, it gets. All right, it gets an eight. Done. Let's move on. <laughs> right. Right, we're not doing anything like that again. I mistyped. It was supposed to be an eight. <laughs> All right, we're done. Moving on. <laughs> also, I'm definitely off now. All right, see ya. See ya, Zoe. See ya. Take care. Good night. Do you know what that? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to do anything like that again. If, if that's the, if that, 
if a game ends up with a score, we're not. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna do something like that again. That's a bit. Shouldn't push a voting like that again. All right. That's naughty. I shouldn't. I don't really care enough. I shouldn't really care that much. It's only. It's only 3D bloody Grand Prix. But um. Um. Especially, we're going to be doing voting very, very soon. We've got the sugars coming up. I know I wanted to do it in March, and now we're near the end of April. But things have just happened and stuff. Um, so, I won't do that again. Right. Oh, Jolly. Good night, Jolly. Have a great weekend, my friend. Take care. The Jolly Jolly. Take care, my dude. Have a good one. Have a good one. Um... You count's been stuck for a while. Sorry, guys. Let me uh, refresh that. Okay. Right. Next game of the night. What will it be? Let's hope it's a good one. Let's hope it's a good one. Um. Oh, does someone arrive? Hey, hello, Mr. Neon. Actually, no, I think you were here from from before, weren't you? Who else did Elon take a blue tick away from? Oh, God. I've noticed like my tweets um, this um, recently I'll be getting less and less views. So cheers. Twitter sucks now. Anyway, let's have a look. What's next? Right, we just had 3D Grand Prix. Next game is uh, it's 3D Invaders from Amsoft. Ah, oh boy. Yeah, this isn't particularly great. 3D Invaders. 3D Invaders. All right, we'll crack on with this one. And we'll get through this one as quick as we can. Are you going Arcade Club Lister? Nice. Say hello to uh, Mr. Lewis Waddington. I assume you're going to, to, to the Berry one. Yeah, interesting artwork on that one. Yeah, Blue Planet. Sorry, we should have taken some more time to inspect that, but I kind of want to crack on. I'm not even got to the letter A yet, and that's what we're supposed to be doing. <laughs> oh, nice, Lister. Yeah, say hello. To, uh, give, give Lewis a big kiss from me when you see him. He's working that day. Re I, actually, this one is supposed to be called 3D Quark, in Quark Invaders. It's not often on the title screen of a game, it gives it gives their address on it. <laughs> Did you really expect any better from Musky Elon? No, no. It's interesting that he allowed like a uh, view date, view use view view data on tweets. You can see how how much um, views you get in your tweets. And I can see, like, the data is just, like, less and less and less and less and less. So, great. Thank you. Thank you, Space Karen. Right. Let's get into this piece of crap. Is my fire bomb configured? It is. Prevent the invading quacks from landing. Use the arrow keys of the joystick to move your laser bases and the space bar or the joystick to fire. You can move in two directions at once while still firing. Wow. This one is pants, said C C C says CDJ. The 3Ds. Disappointing, dreadful, tire. <laughs> nice one, Mame. Uh, they look like 3D OSG twitchy, twitch emojis. <laughs> and off we go. They do! So it's Space Invaders, supposedly in three dimensions. Oh, and we got wrecked. Oh, well, it's flickery. It's probably better to deal with the bottom ones first. 
Oh! I don't know which pla uh, horizontal plane that thing is on. Well, this is exciting, boys and girls, isn't it? No idea what... No idea where to position myself to hit the UFO there. Ah, ah, and I got wrecked. Trolls are a bit laggy. Um, right, got him. Move up to the next sort of horizontal plane here to shoot this one. Oh, I got him! Right, so the UFO comes on like the middle kind of section there. Okay. Right, cool. Oh, wow. Well, this is thrilling, exciting stuff. This one is absolute arse candle of the highest command, says Anna. Oh, I got the UFO. I'm excited. Get around and go this way. Oh. oh, got him. Oh, this might be the first time I've ever completed a wave on 3D Invaders. Hey, oh my God. It's a whole wave of OSG emotes. Well, and then it just probably just repeats forever and ever. Right, that will do. Scores out of 10 for 3D uh, OSG invaders. Uh, sorry, um, 3D invaders from Amsoft. My God, let me just catch up with the chat there. This one is absolute arse candle, highest commander, swinging red arse crates and vile stench of fail. Thank you, Anna. Thank you for your delightful review. Um, quark or quark is a type of fresh dairy product made from milk. Um, so defend the cheese. <laughs> Slowdown is terrible. Man, it's painful, says Mr. Neon. TGA PC colors. I know. Why the color scheme? I don't know. It's terrible. Um... Nice idea, says Maud, but it's... Yes, yes, I can't repeat that. Um, I noticed flickering is something out of 10. Uh, that was a UFO. I thought it was Freddy Krueger's school bus. <laughs> uh. Uh, this game is about as peeling as a broccoli floret up the bottom, says CDJ. <laughs> That UFO got a crap craft for travelling into Sarah's space. I can tell you that much, as Matt Myers. Uh, that got past the evil block. I got. Uh, I get. I have no idea why Ask Candle is considered evil. Um, no, type it as normal, Anna. Um, I don't know why that. It was the other week. It was just a, a Nightbot. It wasn't even Nightbot. I think it was just normal YouTube weirdnesses. I think you're all right typing R scandal as normal, Anna. Go for it. Go for it. Uh, a masterclass in how to take out 70s gaming perfection and completely suck the life out of it. Um, 
The Forest of Amsterdam Games. That's fighting talk, given we're playing you tomorrow, Retro Name, and we beat you last time. Um, uh, OSC says, okay, I'm away now. Match tomorrow at 8.30. AM, bloody hell. Why on a Saturday that early? Ridiculous, yeah. Have a great rest of the stream, and even better weekend, everyone. Night, night. Love you, Zai. I love you too, OSG. Take care, buddy. Have a great weekend. Enjoy your new, enjoy your new car. And have a good one, mate. All right. Take care, man. Good night. Bye. Oh, 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 I got a little. Oh, I might need a little break from the screen just for a sec, guys. Tell you what, I'm going to get a quick drink from the fridge. Get your scores in out of 10. I'm going to get another drink. And I'll be right back, okay? All right, I'm back. Hey, Mabs. Hello, Mabs. How you doing, my friend? Good to see you, buddy. Welcome, welcome. How you been diddling? All right, thanks for your scores, boys and girls. Let's have a look then. They're not going to be very high, are they? They're not going to be very high. So, Blue Planet gives it a three. Exotic Geek gives it a one. CDJ a one. Retro on Limb a two. 80s Retro Gamer, a 4. OSG, a 2. Uh, and then we've got... Nish giving it a 1. Johnny Boy, a 4. Is that the highest so far? I think so. Uh, we've got Andy H, a 3. Andrea, 3. Henri, a 2. Andy P, a 2. Maud a two. Magic Knight a two. Horan a two. At least there's some colours variation. Cosmic Murmur. Masterclass in the Hashtag 70s Gaming Perfection completely sucked the life out of it. A one. Great review. Anna a two. Uh, Lystra Smeg a three. Uh, Robin Hook a three. Mr. Neon a zero. Bin it, burn it. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, there is some gameplay there, I suppose. Really, OSG Raid Shadow Vaders. <laughs> uh, LK, a two. Uh, Matt Myers, a five. Highest so far. STD Invaders. Oh, my goodness. Hey, on a two. 
And Paul Hayward, a three. Uh, uh, Mame Hayes, a two out of ten. And Retro Busts, a three. Oh, I, should, I forgot to mention... Oh, Barry, sorry, a two there. I forgot to mention, this was released at the time at full price. At £8.95. Yikes. £8.95, that was the full price back then. And I could tell you... Yeah, the average score came out at 2.296. Yikes. Not minus 10, sadly. Yeah. So, I'm going to give it a 1.5, actually. I'm going to give it a one and a half. What? Ah, oops. So that uh, actually, I'll give it. Oh, I'll give it a one actually. Oh, it's smack on two and a two two point two five. Oh, uh, oh my goodness! Where do we round that to? Two or two and a half? Mabs gives it a two. That might be the deciding score. 2.24. It rounds it down to two. There you go. It gets two out of ten rather than two and a half. Right. That's game number 87. 3D Invaders from Amsoft. 1985. And that'll be... We'll, we'll have to go into the gallery shoot, single screen shoot them up thing then. Okay. 3D Invaders. Right. We've only got through six games tonight. <laughs> Alright. Two is generous. Probably. But to be fair, there are worse games out there. There are... There are worse games out there. <laughs> There's not many, but there are. Reeve. Right, okay. Right, let's see. Let me get my thing ready here. Okay, right, next game. Let me have a quick swig of water. £25 in today's money. <gasps> Good grief. Imagine burning through weeks of pocket money for 3D invaders. Holy crap. Holy crap. Right. Okay. Next game. Let's crack on. Uh, Matt Myers says this game is called what again? Uh, 3D invaders. Sorry, Matt. Sorry. You probably saw by now. Big oofs from Arnie. Right. Next game after 3D invaders is 3D quasars. My God, this looks like 3D um, fights we had from uh, Laurie Seal, Laurie Seals, L Laurie Ciels. Sorry, sorry, Henri, Laurie Ciels. But no, 3D quasars from Solar Software. Is this a real game from Jim Baguli? Oh. Okay. No, this is a real release. Like Book Rogers again. I recognise that name. Jay Baguli. Jim Baguli. He did a few games, didn't he? What else did he do? Jim Baguli. Battle Beyond the Stars. Oh, that's going to come up soon. That's a 1985 from Solar Software. Interesting. Solar Software. What else did Solar Software do? They're a very... Oh, only two games did Solar Software produced. So Solar Software only produced two games on the Amstrad, and this is one of them. Hey, okay. all right. 
Jim, my ghoulies. All right. Okay. So, 3D quasars. Let me just put the name in the in my document already. Hang on. 3D quasars. Okay. Hopefully, I've got the disc for this. 3D quasars. I do. I do. Right. Let's get it up and running. Is that a fake name? Who knows? Cover name for Andy Onions. Who is Andy Onions, Anna? Please explain. Um, looks closer to Interceptor 3D from Tronic Verlag. You will get some Tronic Verlag at some point. Uh, maybe not tonight. Who knows? Invulnerability? No. Infin Someone's done a crack of this game with cheats. Infinite lives? No. Change the number of lives? I'll leave that. I'll pause my music. We never know. There's music or not. Right, here we go. 3D quasars. I think I've played this on a stream before. Oh, hey, Landy Onions. Hurt my eyes a bit. This is one of your cracks. Is it really, Nish? There's, I just Googled Andy Onions and there's actually a stand-up comic uh, or some uh, a multimedia stand-up called PowerPointness. Right, okay, there's actually a website called Andy Onions. A, uh, does PowerPointness what? Okay. He's a he's a there's a guy there's stand up comedian called Andy Onions. Is that is that who it is? All right, okay. Alright, okay. 3D quasars, here we go. And we're playing CPC Game Reviews, Nish's Crack. Oh, I need to refine my fire button because it's clashing with the left movement. Hang on, let me done. I have played this before. I remember this. They fly at the same place every time. Oh, so, oh not always the same place. <laughs> Looks okay. God's sakes. Okay. It's like three different places it can fly from. I do like the 3D effects of the... Okay. Up and down does nothing. You can't speed up, slow down, um, raise up or raise down. So you, you can only go left or right and fire. Ah! Bloody hell. Jesus. Is that it? It's not him, so I feel that's a funny coincidence. So what is this what is this Andy Onions thing then, Anna? And who is Mr. Bin? Who is Mr. Bin as well? Daddy's kicking the logo above Zypho's head looks like fart number one. Oh god, retro limbs getting pished. Right. Um, let's narrow the game area down to a trench to make sure the Amtrid wouldn't be struggling too hard. Probably. Um, Jesus. Oh, yeah.
Kind of okay, but you could make this game as a typing list in pretty much. Let alone sell it as a full price game in 1985. It's a very limited game. And Nish, does this game change up at any any point and do anything different ever? Do I need to persevere? And try and push on and see if anything different happens. I want to give the game a fair, sh uh, fair chance and shout to the Amstream crowd. If you don't destroy the the, the alien, basically you, you're dead. Ass. It's also hard. And also, there's a bit of a lag and delay of your shot. Uh, it's like he was an obscure coder Nova Bug found. Really? This is, the, this is the Andy Onions thing. Oh. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Mr. Vinny summoned Andrea made up, Zypho. Okay. And it's not Dusty and Mr. are not related. Okay. Uh, there are different waves of enemies later on, but that's about it. How much? How do I get to the next wave of enemies? Is it a certain number of these I have to destroy? How long do you have any idea how long it takes to get there? to get the hang of it there. to get the hang of it. I think I'm done with that one though. I think I'm probably done with that one. Ah. Ah. Fresh my view count there. Wrecked. Hey, Mr. Watkins. David, how you doing my friends? Welcome. Good to see you, my friend. Mr. Bin is a misread of a commercial uh R and R bin. It looked like Mr. Bin and it's stuck. Oh, I see. No idea. Try playing the game of cheats and find out. Do we want to? All right. Scores out. Should we? I think we'll perhaps move on. We can't be here forever. Scores out of ten for 3D quasars. Should we? I tell you what. All right then. We'll put infinite lives on then or something. This is why he cracked it. Go on then. Invulnerability. Yes. We're putting vulnerability on. Go on then.
Maybe hold off on your score. Just to see what happens next. Maybe. So we can't be killed at the moment. Maybe something exciting and interesting will happen. Lots of enemies there. Maybe it's going to reach a certain score that the next wave of enemies come in. So we're on 3,650, Get a bit tedious. 4,000. Maybe it's a score of 5,000 you've got to get to. God, you don't have to drag on. 5,000. Is it me? Or have they got faster? They've got faster. I think. Yeah, I would I've never have done this about cheats. Thank you, Nish. Oh yeah, balls to this. Too hard. This is impossible. You can't shoot fast enough. I would have di I've, di I've died about 30 times here. It's just the same thing over and over. I've seen t I've seen typing listings like this. All the pew pews. Oh, the pew pews, yes. Um, Exotic Geek says, I'm nodding off. Yep. I just wanted to see, is there a different wave of enemies? A different sprite? Anything different happening? Right, we're getting to near 10,000 points. Will anything happen after 10,000 points? 10,000! Anything different? Please! It's the same thing. How can you charge full price for this? It's just, you're not even changing the sprites. Bugger all. Nothing different, they just get faster. It's just lazy. There's no. There's no end to this. Oh my god. I mean, Quasar Hell. Yeah, done, done. All right, yeah. There, done. Right, any more scores out of 10? Put them in the chat. Good grief. Oh, that, what a shame. It kind of looked a bit promising, but, um, like, what's he going to do? Have a side-scrolling section next, and over top-down section? Something different? I don't know. In, in an into-the-screen tunnel? I don't know. But, no, 
It was just the same thing over and over again. It's Chiefy here. Hello, Chiefy. Welcome. How's it going? Um. Right. Let's see. Let's see. If scores out of ten for this one. Right. Uh, first one in. I think with the scores, Blue Planet with four out of ten. Um. Three, two, one. No one did that as fast as Mr. Ted. Oh, yeah. With Dusty Bin. What did he do? He went three, two, one. Oh, yes. Yeah, so he didn't do that by accident. He went. No, he, he did three. Three, two. Oh, yeah. He did that way too fast. Yeah. <laughs> no one bet. No one beat the fastest Ted. Yeah. Uh, so it was one out of ten from Arnie. He said, I'd rather watch paint dry on television than play this. I played that for way too long. I was like, I, I was expecting something different to happen. Four out of ten from Barry. Still better than 3D Invaders. Um, uh, no ideas. Yeah, sorry. Uh, Retro Lim gives it a five. Uh, Man Shovel a six. Blimey. Got it Geek a five. 80s Rush Gamer a three. CPC Game Reviews a four. Chiefy says, good evening. Looks like an all right reward for an overlookable size type in game. I guess, of course, they only actually... Of course, the only actual quite long typing over and also friend did did not work out at all. Quite common. One character wrong and you're screwed. Unless they had a, a, one of those things that could check it for you. Uh, Imagine a four. Andrea a four. Corin a four. Maud a four. Uh, Matt Myers a five. Mabs a four. Robin Hook a five. Paul Hayward a four. Uh, hey, Honor free. Uh, Paul Andy P a three point nine 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 six at a ten, so it rounds up to a four, I guess. Uh, checksums, that's the thing. Yes, that's right, Chiefy. Uh, well, this looks naff as David, so that's a three. And Al K gives it a three. Okay. Any other scores? What have we got? Uh, Cosmic Murmur gives it a two and a half. Thank you, Cosmic. Uh, Anna, did you give it an Ask Handle rating? Um, this game has turned me into a C64 fan. <laughs> CDJ gives it a two. Hey, Nova Bugs here. How you doing, Chris? Mr. Bin here. <laughs> or oh, nm.bin here. <laughs> Johnny Boy gives it a free. How you doing, Chris? Blue Planet wants to change it to a free. I can't remember what your score was before and where it was. Oh, I don't know. Um, Henri gives it a four. I've changed my score. I don't know where your score was in my list of scores now because I didn't put names next to them. Um... That's a problem. Uh, Kat, how you doing, Cat Ice? Welcome. Welcome in. How you doing? Welcome. I'm going to give this a two and a half out of ten from me. I survived the prank of Mrs. Bug earlier, so I'm good. What, pl what prank did you play on her? So. Actually, no, I'm going to give this a two out of ten. It was This is rubbish. Um, good. Oh, I missed loads. Yeah, you missed quite a bit tonight, but not too many games. It's taken a while to get through them. And had interruptions from Mini Zypho and stuff. Let's see what this rounds up to then. So, with all the scores in, uh, this rounds up to an average of 3.7. Wow. Um, so we'll round that down to about three and a half out of ten. Three and a half. Three D quasars. So it gets a three and a half out of ten. Um, you could have a get a gallery single screen shoot 'em up, I suppose. That's game number eighty eight. And who was it from? Um, Solar Software. Solar Software. Alright, 3D Quasars. Right. 
I think people want to downgrade their score. Oh, uh, as I've said, 0.5 to all the games from now on. How many people in the chat want to downgrade their score after seeing uh, me play with the um, invulnerability and nothing happened? Quickly, put your hand up in the chat. Oh, Anna's put a score in of two. Did you not put a score in before? Like, wave your hand in the chat if you want to downgrade your score. If you put a score in earlier before I um, played it with invulnerability and now want to downgrade your score, I would say two and a half. Now, you stand by mine. Matt Myers puts his hand up. You can copy Matt Myers' emoji if you want. <laughs> um... Uh, no bugs as if was a snapshot of her sne uh, of her sleeping area. Uh, I got nerfed as I walked in the door from work. Well, you tried. What was it? So you tried to? Did you try to take a picture of her sleeping or something, Chris? Sorry. I did, but Zyph it seems you can't see him. Down, but down to one point five. Tell you what. All right. Hang on, we got one, but not Anna, stands by hers. Oh, imagine I stands by here, sorry. I did, but Zypho, it seems you can't see him. Can't see what, Anna? Sorry. You mean like your uh, Arse Candle um, mess uh, review? I should go up the chat and see if I can see it. Hang on. Shut up, Retro on Limb. And Andy drops his... I thought it's a Jim Bagley as well, man. Shovel, it's not uh, her score. I saw Anna's score. Oh, she put a 2 out of 10 in. That was a late one. Oh, you mean Anna's late 2 out of 10? It might drop it down a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. I was talking about people putting the scores before I did the vulnerability thing. None of your biz. You want to give it 9 out of 10? Shut up, Retro, and in the shed, slogan from me and out. Exactly. All right, we'll put it down to free. We'll put it down to free and be done with it. We can't waste any more time. If Anna puts in the 2 out of 10, and maybe people want to, like, knock down their score by a half a mark or something like that, we'll assume the average goes down. I can't waste any more time on it. All right, it goes down to 3 out of 10. Right, does that appease everyone? I hope so. Very unscientific, this scoring, but, like, I hope that's, like, a fair compromise. <laughs> yeah. None of your biz. I'm, 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 right, come on. Come on. Come on. You cannot be serious awarding that 9 out of 10. That is a tr that's a troll score, right? Right, okay. Okay. Right, shall we see what the next bloody game is? You're going to burn Mr. Bins? You know, he knows I love him, but we do tell him to shut up. I know. I know, Chris. I know. Oh, it's her bedside mess like a student. Oh, I think I saw that photo briefly as I was scrolling through Facebook earlier. Yes, I think I saw that. <laughs> uh, she let you live, did she? Lucky boy. Lucky boy. Right. Okay. Next game then. What's next? Oh, have we finished the numbers yet? We haven't even started the letter A. Jesus. I've advertised the stream as like, the A to Z and we're starting the letter A tonight and we're still on the bloody numbers. Right, okay, after 3D sodding quasars. Right. What's next? Ooh! 3D Star Strike! Amazing. Amazing. This is good. Yes! Three D bloody Star Strike. Let's go. 
There we go. 3D Star Strike. I think this is the Star Wars ripoff, right? There we go. Right. Awesome. Awesome. There we go. Um, This is an 84 game. Are you sure? Look closely. <laughs> Sorry, Robin. All right. Okay. Okay. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. 3D Star Strike. Hopefully this is a good crack of the game. Let's go. Okay. Oh, I might... Oh, I'll get the joystick out for this one. Hold on. And the onions? Is this where the Andy Onions thing comes from? <gasps> and the Onions. Whoa, was this the Andy the Onions thing? That's like become a meme on the stream. Yes! The legendary Andy Onions has, is, is revealed. Right. <laughs> Jesus. Right. Okay. Real time software. 3D Star Strike copyright 1985. There you go. Oh, God. What are the chances of that? All right. Get your onions out in the chat. There you go. I've got some onions out. Join an onions command. There, uh, done one. Exclamation mark onions, there you go. <laughs> Flipple, you beat me to it. And welcome back. Flipple just comes in just for the commands. You want a garlic command? Yeah, I go we googled him earlier, Flibble. Yes, there is a, a there is actually a stand-up comedian called Andy Onions. Why do you want a garlic command, uh, um, Arnie? Right, yeah, let's get in my arcade stick out. Ugh. Right, get this bad boy out. All right. No one no, at this right. This game is basically a rip off of the Atari Star Wars coin op, and um, there's no one who converted it at the time. So these guys, these chances, thought they'd uh, basically just do it. <laughs> um, oh, it's just a joke. Oh, uh, I'll, I'll, I've got to crack on. We'll do. I could do that another time. Look at this. Right, we're going to do joystick. Easy, medium, or hard. Oh. Oh, it's put me in automatically. I didn't choose anything there. They went for full colour mode naught, whereas the official Star Wars conversion which came out in 1987 from Domark. Domark. Uh, went for mode one in, a, in like four colours. Approaching enemy base, initiating Tacron. All right, shoot, we're on the surface of the Death Star, essentially. Ah, uh, the frame.
frame rate is all right. Got de it's not got a decent sense of speed. That's uh, explosion sound effect is so satisfying. It is actually. This is the first game with 3D in the title to actually be in kind of 3D. It is. It's actually the first 3D game. Even if it's vector graphics, essentially. Well, it is 3D. Yeah, anyway, it's the Death Star Trentron. Look at that. Whee! Entering reactor chamber. What? Oh, we've got to do that again. Why did that not... I don't know why that didn't connect there. We've got to do that again. Okay. Use the force wicket. How dare you, mad shovel. Zypho, Sega Retro and Andy Onions. Is the best version of this was 1984. Was that on other systems like the Specky? Where are you seen that, Anna? 1.5 frames per second. Oh, we did it! There we go. Reactor pods destroyed. Escape sequence initiated. Here we go. Hey! Awesome. St status hyper. Status green. And then it starts all over again. There you go. Uh, what's this? Someone sent me a link to Andy Onions. He's still going, Andy Onions. There's that. There's the real Andy Onions. Hang on, I'll just move my live chat out the way. Andy Onions, ladies and gen gentlemen. There he is. That is Andy Onions, the guy who worked on this game. There's his picture, Anna. I, uh, there you go. Exclamation mark onions in the chat. Oh, hail Andy Onions. There he is. Uh, and Andrew Andy Peter Onions is a British software program, founder of the video game development company Real Time Game Software and Realism. Uh, he worked on, also worked on Big 29 Fighter Pilot for the Mega Drive, Cannon Fodder for the Mega Drive, and Super Monkey Ball Jr. Oh, hang on a second. Uh, Yariel. Underscore poof has donated four pounds sixty four. Holy crap! Thank you for the four six four. Wow. An Ewok marches into a cantina and says to the bartender, "I'll have a jar of juice and bantha milk." The bartender says, "Sure thing, but why the little pause?" Oh. Cheeky git. Who was that? Yariel, Pro Yariel Poof. Thank you very much for the 464. Who was that? That's very kind of you for the 464. And the Ewok choke there. You s oh. Um, That was... My phone's just updating. That was Man Shovel. God damn it, Man Shovel. Thank you very, very much. The 464 there. Exclamation mark pumpkins in the chat for Man Shovel. Or let the bananas rain down for Man Shovel. Thank you, Man Shovel. Cheeky git. <laughs> Thank you, Man Shovel. Thank you very, very, very much. It's very kind of you. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Um. 
I got the joke. The pause. Yes. Ewok. Ewok pause. I got it. Oh, Chiefy. Wow. Um. Oh, I'm waiting for the alert to come through. It's a bit slow from the... There it is. Chiefy. Chiefy, thank you for the 672 euros. Oh, Chiefy, you didn't have to, mate. Thank you. Um, You don't get sorry. It doesn't do the text of speech if it's a super chat. So I have to, I'll read that out. Sorry for the granted inconvenience of it being a super chat. Oh, don't worry about that at all, mate. Thank you very, very much. It's really kind of you. Cheers all, overall, though. Chiefy, thank you, mate. Thank you very, very, very much, Chiefy. You're an absolute legend of dude. I still have your, um, I've still kept your, um, uh, Austrian Christmas tree decorations very safely. It's in a, I've got it kept in a little box underneath my Amstrad table. And um, thank you, Chiefy. So I wanted to let you know that I kept them very safe. And the Austrian, uh, um, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger Museum stuff as well. Because uh, I came, came across it the other day. And I was like, I can keep them very, very safe. Chiefy, thank you very, very much for the 672 there. Thank you very much, Chiefy. Can we have some bananas in the chat for Chiefy? Uh, lovely bloke. Oh! Oh, no! It's Andy Onions! He's here! <laughs> Andy Onions is here! According to the Guinness Book of World Records, the largest onion ever grown weighed 10 pounds 14 ounces. It was grown by V. Throop of Silsden, England. <laughs> Exclamation mark onions in the chat for Andy Onions. Thank you, Andy Onions, for the one pound there. Who was that? Oh, uh, my phone's not updating. I don't, actually, I don't know who that was, but for the onion facts. <laughs> Thank you for the onion facts from Andy Onions there. Um, I actually don't know who that was. I'm trying to get my phone updated, the emails, but the email's not coming through. But thank you, Andy Onions, or whoever was uh, posing as Andy Onions. Um, that might be Flibble, or it could have been Man Shovel. I don't know. I just don't know. Um, and I, uh, uh, Chiefy, thank you again. And I hope my, um, Christmas card eventually arrives with you one day. Who knows? I like to think Andy stops random people in the street and angry shouts onion facts at them. Ah! <laughs> That'd be great. But I'm going to assume that might have been Flibble there. Thank you, Flip. Or it might have been Man Shovel again. But thank you, thank you. Right, um... Okay, um, right, do you want to give scores out of 10 for 3D Star Strike? I think this is a cracking little game. I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10, I think. I don't think it deserves more, but I don't think it deserves less, either. Cool little shoot 'em up in the Atari Star Wars style. It's a rip, a complete rip of it. <laughs> um... There might be an argument to say this was released in 1984, though. Hmm, I don't know. Some saying... Someone was saying this was a 1984 game, but... All the releases of it have 85 on the... on the uh, When the game lo loads up. Was the Specky version like 1984 or something? Did the Specky version come out first and then was it ported to the Amstrad? Maybe. Ah, I I guess I know why. Probably. Looks like I'm just looked at the Spectrum website. Specky version looks like it was like all being reviewed in December of '84. I reckon, I reckon that Spectrum version came out first, late, late '84. 
got ported to the Amstrad early 85. I'm going to guess that's what happened. But yeah, we're, we're, we're happy to call this 85. I mean, literally, the code on the title screen says 1985, doesn't it? Because on the cassette label... Hang on. You get this. If you look very carefully on the cassette label, I think my, you get 1984, but they probably just didn't change. They probably just didn't change it. I think what's king is this. 1985 in the code on the game on the game title screen why would they put a year later on the on the title screen you go for the latest you probably go for the latest date you could find on either the label on the cassette box art or in the code or on the title screen whatever the latest year date you can find will go with that yeah okay all right get your scores in out uh, scores out of 10 in uh, we'll play just a touch touch more. I think we should get the the towers on the second level now. Oh Mabs, good night Mabs. Take care my friend. Have a great weekend. We finally have a face to the onions, yes. And thank you, whoever was that Andy, Andy Onions dono. My email still hasn't come through. Looks like my email provider is, is having big email problems. Oh, it's the tower tops. They've got to shoot all the tower tops. You get a big bonus for shooting all the tower tops off. Oh, oh, I hit a tower. Six tower tops to go. Alright, I got one there. Oh, there's one there. Miss one there. One tower top to go. Oh, I nearly got them all as well. Oh, hang on. Look at some uh, people going there. Sorry. CPC rules also says it's 985. That's cool. Um, Henri, thank you again for the dono earlier and help pronouncing Laurie Cell. Laurie Cell. Laurie Cell. Oh, God. Am I, have I got it right? Have I got it wrong there? Munch to. Who cares? Henri! Good night. Have a great weekend, my friend. Take care. Have a good one as well. Um, and Mabs, take care as well. Good night. You have a fantastic weekend as well. And you take care, both of you. Um, Lauricel. Lauricel. There we go. There we go. <laughs> take care, Henry. Have a great one. Good night. Bon nui. Bon nui. Right. Oh, it's getting a bit tougher now. I love this level. I love the trench run. Now we've got to properly avoid these. Def definitely a solid 8 out of 10 from me. Ooh, clip my shield there. All right, shoot the reactor pods. Yay, we did it. Not as fun as having to hit the exhaust port on the like official Atari Star Wars, but worthy enough. What Manchu said. Oh, lorry cell. Uh, we did it. There we go. GGs. And then it kind of repeats over and gets harder. Um, 
And that's it, really. I mean, that's really kind of the entire game. And it kind of repeats over and over. Um, and becomes more of a high-score attack game. That's, that's the only downside to this. There isn't much more. It just gets harder and harder. Um, so, would you get bored of it fairly quickly? Possibly. Possibly. It, it, it's kind of like, the, from now on, you have to set yourself personal targets. Can you get a score of 1 million? Can you, can you be, can you get, can you complete three waves of hard? Can you set yourself your own personal targets and better yourself in this game? Can you, are you, is that something you're able to do? to maybe push yourself on in this game is that sufficient enough to keep you coming back to the game or not or do you need to have like an end game like an ending to a game to have you keep keep you coming back to a game this game doesn't have that hmm. anyway let's have a look at the scores out of 10. bon nui zypho and his devil boy french <laughs> laurie ciel i said that man shovel didn't i Lorry CL. Lorry CL. Hush now, man shovel. Calm yourself. Calm yourself down. Monge too. Um, this should have been the official Star Wars arcade port. I think Domark did a better job of it, to be honest, Flib. To be honest. To be honest. Right, get the rest of your scores out of 10 if you haven't any. And I'm going to start putting them in the spreadsheets. Don't repeat them if you've already put a score in, though, because it will knacker the score in. Right. Right. So, Anna. Got this first one there with an 8 out of 10. Henri gives it a 10. Nish gives it an, uh, an 8. Wow. Perfect score from Henri. Robin Hook gives it an 8. Andy's a great programmer. Really knows his onions. Oh, flip. I've only just seen that comment. Uh, Matt Myers gives it an 8. Uh, sorry to hear you get your card from Andrea Manchip. Our, our post was awful this Christmas. Um, flippy flippy special tomorrow. With Minty and Specky on testing duties. Oh, nice. Don't forget the book stream tomorrow night, boys and girls. Uh, Magic Knight, 8 out of 10. Maud, a 9. Um, uh, no, Zypho, see your Christmas card uh, of and 2023 and guess at least then. What have, what have I got, I guess, Chiefy? Sorry. Uh, Musa gives it an 8. Paul Hayward, an 8. And he's trying to do these a little bit quicker. Like, uh, seven and a half from Arnie. An excellent ripper for Rogers release. Yes. Anna. Uh, but yeah, eight out of ten is it short. I think I've already got a score from you. Sorry. Um, uh, hey, Hon gives it seven and a half. Also, inlay art by Oli Oliver Frey. Really? I wasn't aware of that. Interesting tidbit there, Flip. Cheers. Flibble gives it a 9 out of 10. Uh, Anna, you've put your score in three times now. That's going to knack up my scoring. <laughs> um, thank you, though. Uh, a Russian Limb, 8. Man Shovel, 7.5. An uh, uh, 80s Russian Gamer gives it a 10. Bloody hell. Barry gives it a 7. And did we get any more in? I think you put your score in twice, I think. Um, I've got it. Mr. Neon gives it an 8. Right. Okay. L'Oreal, because I'm worth it. L'Oreal CL. L'Oreal. Right. And uh, I think I... I can't remember what score I gave it in my review. But I'll give this a... I'm, either, I'm wavering between an 8 or an 8.5. Ah, oh, screw it. I'll give it an eight and a half. Right, okay. Not many scores in, actually, this time, boys and girls. Are we getting a bit tired? Don't know. None of your biz gives it a six. Probably the lowest score so far. Starring is much nicer and faster game it came out in 1985. I think Starring is anything like this, is it? I don't know. 
Can't remember. Can't remember, actually. Fair enough. Fair enough. Andy P gives it a seven. And Novabug gives it an eight and a half. Okay. All right. Oh, time for me to go as well, everyone. It's been a good stream tonight. Thank you, Nish. It's been an interesting one so far. Oh, and the Magic Knight as well. Good night, Magic Knight. Take care, Magic Knight and Nish. Have a great evening. Uh, and sorry, great uh, weekend. Sorry, I'm getting a bit crazy. Take care, guys. Have a good un. Have a good un. Enjoy yourselves. And I'll see you both soon. Right. The average score comes out. Comes out to. There you go. They're all in. They're all in there. To an average of 8.07. So it's an average of 8 out of 10, which is good. Because the uh, previously, as you can see from all the scores from the 1984, not many games got anywhere near 8 out of 10. I need Roland on the Ropes got an 8 from 1984. 3D Fight and 3D Grand Prix got an 8. So I think that's cool. I think that's cool. Right, so that was game number 89. That was free, uh, 3D Star Strike. Star Strike. Oh, what's, that, what's that from? Uh, it's real-time software, isn't it? Real-time games software. Real-time games software. Get the proper title. Nineteen eighty-five. Oh God, what genre is this? What genre do we put this in? Uh, Sci-fi shooter. Rails shooter. Ooh. Vector shooter, rail shooter. What genre did they put Star Wars in? Hang on. Sorry, Star Wars. First person. Oh, look at this. Sorry, Star Wars is a first person rail shooter. Jesus. That's what Wikipedia put that in. Genre, rail shooter. It's a rail shooter. I didn't even know that was a genre. First person rail shooter. What? Bloody hell. Rail shooter. Sports, that's what the hit squad would do. So Star Wars is a rail shooter. It's a rail shooter. Wow. There you go. That's the genre classification. G rail shooter. Who knew? Who knew? There you go. All right. All right. That'll do. Rail shooter. Yeah. A couple of people said that there, I think, as well. Man Shivel did there. I have heard the rail shooter. Yeah, I have. I have heard that before. No, it's a, it's a thing. It's a thing. Definitely a thing. Right, okay. Hey, what I've got to say, if you've been enjoying the stream tonight, don't forget to give us a like and a thumbs up. I would very much appreciate it if you haven't already. It helps get the stream and the video um, pushed to new people that might come across us uh, that haven't before and all that. So thank you everyone who has given us a like and a thumbs up. What are we on at the moment? Let me just refresh my page. Oh my goodness, 63 likes so far. That's fantastic. And zero dislikes. That's poggers. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very, very much. Right. Um, what's next? Now, that, we've had a good run there. We had some good games. 3D Fight, 3D Boxing, 3D Grand Prix, 3D, 3D Star Strike, and some not-so-good ones. Right. Let's. What's up next? Let's have a look. Right, so 3D Star Strike, Rail Shooter. Oh yeah, Afterburner, Space Harrier. Yeah, it's a rail shooter, I suppose. Yeah, Res. Yeah, 
Not a lot of rail shooters on the Amstrad. I suppose not. Operation was Operation Wolf count as a rail shooter? I suppose it might. Yeah. Um, what's next after 3D Star Strike? It is. Oh! Ho, 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 ho! Oh my goodness. This game led to a very classic moment on the AM stream many, many years ago. It's 3D Stunt Rider or Cascader 3D. Rest of the stream will be this. Me attempting the final level. I'll try not to. 3D Stunt Rider. You're forgetting the legend that is Space Gun. God. Oh, yeah, Space Gun is a rail shooter, yeah. Sifo loves this. I, I loved this as a kid. You just learned the name of your favourite genre of video game. Probably, yeah. No, no, I knew on rail shooter. I just haven't heard that term, like, just in years being used. But, yeah, I, I knew of it, yeah. Rail shooter tends to prefer to 3D games rather than 2D ones. Otherwise, uh, every scrolling shooter would be rail shooter. That's a good... Uh, Clarification there, main haze. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The three D stunt rider. Oh my days. Oh my days. Yeah. Okay. Three D stunt rider. Oh, I didn't reset the Amstrad. Sorry guys. That led oh that legendary Am stream where we actually landed the bike on the final level, which had never been done before <laughs> by anyone. Good grief. Um, and that's led to the, um, um, that clip, um, that, the little gif of me going, what? jumping out of my chair, which I use for when everyone subscribes on Twitch and, uh, and on Patreon for my alerts. That's where that comes from. It comes from 3D Stunt Rider and me landing the bike. Right, let's let it up. I love this game. Roll that clip. Could do. I could do. Oh. Oh, that music. One second. Oh. Oh, that bring, brings back memories. One second, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, oh, got the, they've still got the disk drive spinning around for some reason. Let me just turn off the disk drive sound. Oh, it just pinged at me. How rude. Just sort something out behind the scenes here. Okie dokie. Right. 3D Stunt Rider. Um... Did we miss 3D litter box cleaning simulator, or am I getting ahead of myself? <laughs> oh, you don't know this game, Andrea. Oh, ah, oh, you've probably seen me play this before. Did we change level. Yeah, we'll jump to level five. Actually, we'll go for level five onwards. Uh, even overall, I'm quite a fan of minimalistic style. Hmm. I think you like this game, Chief. If you've not seen this before. Uh, Motors, I've never played this. You've seen me play, but I always thought the screenshots looked too good to be true. They aren't. <laughs> um, um, right, here we go. Here we go. Right. Pause my music just for a second. Uh, we'll go joystick. Let me just check. What have I got for my fire button? Right, left control. Right, here we go. Four. Oh, let's start the game.
Oh, I think this is one of the games that has sampled speech in it, and I've never tried it with sampled speech before. If it goes prepare to jump. You press up, uh, press the up key. Can you see the, the rider in the bottom left corner there shows his bike position? Right, okay. So you get down. Oh, I have an AMS bike, don't I? But I think it's broken. I think the, um, let me just check. I think it's broken. There's a special effect I've got for the AMS bike, but I think the AMS bike is broken. Uh, I've got a special plug-in for it. Let me just check it. To the AMS bike. I... Uh, oh, actually... Oh, yeah, yeah, it's kind of a bit broken. Yeah, it's a little bit broken. Oh, no. All right. No, 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 no. It's just the camera's mispositioned. All right. No, that'll do. Do we look all right on the AMS bike? We haven't used the AMS. Turn your head sideways. Oh, yeah, the tilt doesn't work. All right. I think we look, we kind of look okay on the AMS bike. We haven't used the AMS bike in years. I forgot about the AMS bike. Oh, we haven't got the smoke. The, the tilt's kind of broken, but all right, it'll do. All right, that'll do. Yeah, the the little used AMS bike. All right, that'll do. It'll do. <laughs> Jesus. All right, okay. I'm going to pause the music. You sound, I think this game's more dramatic without the music for now. Okay. It must really mess with your head. Yeah. I kind of... Uh, I think the kind of the, the camera tilt's broken. That's why. That's why we haven't used this. The camera tilt got broke. Okay. We'll just do it for this jump then. Is the AMS bike French? Okay, here we go. Ready? Here we go. I'm gonna try and keep get central as much as possible. You'd see a white border flash happen there. That means I pressed up at the right time. Hey! There we go. Alright, we got the jump there. We got the jump. We landed perfectly. Excellent. GG's in the chat. And we jumped to five AMS buses. Success! Literally took off. So what you want to do is try and jump right in the middle there of the ramp as much as possible and you've got wind blowing you from side to side on the bank. Zynevil Knievel. Great success! Now we have six buses to jump. We missed the Nova bus. Alright, here we go. Yes! If you saw the white border flash there, that means I've got a perfect jump and take off there. You're going to land on the back wheel with the front wheel slightly up off the floor. <laughs> Street hook there. Seven buses. The final level is nine buses. Okay, we're going to take a little snapshot here. We'll see if we can do it. All right, 3D stunt rider. Five, uh, seven buses. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You remember this one now, Andrea? Oh, did it say 35 buses? I can't remember. Oh, sorry, it's just level seven. 35 buses, sorry. Oh, no. Sorry, 35 buses on level seven, sorry. There we go. GG. All right, good. So, level eight, 40 buses. Can we do 40 buses? Let's see. Here we go. Brian! All right. Sorry. Level eight, 40 buses. Here we go. Stock it. How are you doing, Brian? Welcome, mate. How's it going, sir? How's your Friday? Oh, uh, it is 3D stunt biker. 3D stunt rider. 
But it's kind of got some 3D on the go, sort of. Slightly off centre. I don't know if that will. I don't know if that's bad or not. Let's go. We're on the final level already. There we go. GGS. Can we do level nine? Forty-five bosses. Now this, ladies and gentlemen, is near impossible. It is near impossible. Okay. Let's take a snappy. See if we can do it on stream. We had an am stream several years ago where we attempted to beat this and it took like a thousand snapshot reloads. <laughs> and we we did it. We've done it actually on a second am stream. We got really lucky and did it in a, in a second time. If we could do it a third time tonight, go nuts in the chat because it is near impossible and it took us, I said a thousand snapshot reloads, it took us about several hundred to use the force believe you were there robin you were there you saw the celebrations going wild All right here we go Now you note there, I didn't get anywhere near the ramp, the end ramp. There we got wrecked. Get on with it, says Arnie. All right, we've got four lives left. Dead. All right, okay, here we go. What we want to try and do is hit a speed of about 138 miles an hour. It seems a bit random if you get anywhere near that speed. Oh, about 135 there. Same again. Not, not, not nowhere near enough. This is genuinely tense. Genuinely tense. I know. Wreck. That was pixelated, but that still hurts. All right. Let's try again. For some reason, as you get nearer to the ramp, Sometimes if you weave about as you get nearer and nearer very very close to the ramp You seem to squeeze in maybe an extra few miles per hour speed. It just seems to happen. I don't know Very tense Anna's not impressed Oh dear Hundred and thirty three. Oh dear. That's bad. No, no, you can do it, says Cat. <laughs> uh oh. Two lives left. Take a snappy on um, the last life. Very nope, very nope. Close, but no cigar. Hundred and thirty four. It's not going to do it, is it? No, you see how difficult it is. You see how difficult you got to get. You got to get this last life about about 138 miles per hour. Yeah, ouch. Can you fly, Bobby? This is where this is where we take the snappy. That's live. The Nova bus is winning. Wrecked. <laughs> wow. All right, we'll try. 
<laughs> Hang on. Evil Knievel has donated one pound. <laughs> Thank you, Evil Knievel. Anyone can jump a motorcycle, but the trouble begins when you try to land it. <laughs> Thank you, Evil Knievel, aka. Looking at my phone here. Mad Shovel! Thank you, Mad Shovel. <laughs> Ewok Knievel. Oh, it's Ewok Knievel. I see it now. You cheeky git, Man Shovel. Pumpkins in the chat. Exclamation mark pumpkins in the chat for man shovel. Thank you, man shovel. Cheeky sod. Anyone can jump on one cycle, but the trouble begins when you try to land it. Exactly. Or crash it into the AMS bus there. <laughs> Who's getting Andy Onions out again? Bloody hell. Alright, let's go. Let's try it again. Oh, oh no! I got it to 137 miles per hour. I was having a bit of a weave around to see if I could get a few eke out a few more miles per hour there. It was Anna. Blame Anna. Hundred and thirty-seven. Oh, this this could be good. Uh, not quite though. Ass. Incredibly no. Ah, oh, Peter says no. Maybe we didn't hit the centre of the ramp on that. Not only do we have to get the speed up like to about 138. Nah, that's nowhere near. Reload that. I thought that was a 1-2 cat as well. Whoa! I'm taking a snappy that. That was 139! No! I took a snappy in the air. You didn't see that. Hang on, we, we got a snappy. We got a snappy in the air. Maybe we can land on there. Oh, how do we land on there? Not like that. Got to land the wheels at the right angle. I think you do. <laughs> There's a way of landing on the ramp and it's weird. I don't think it likes us landing on right on the edge there. I think we need to be a little bit further on. Kamikaze biker. I... Ah! <laughs> Bike is very explodey.
very, very. Oh, how do we do this? I think we go like that and then we get the back wheel up and it might work. Not like that. Oh! That was close. That was it. That was the one. Almost. Oh, it's so harsh. You hate this game. Motorbike sounds like the start of Monty and the run. I know, dude, I landed it. I don't understand what it wants me to do on this ramp. Zero out of ten. Oh, no. You're not really supposed to land it on this ramp, really. Heart saves. No. What is the matter of this game? Just let the guy land on the on the ramp. I know, Matt. What do I need to do? What do I? That engine noise is getting on my tits a bit now. Activate nitros. Which is very unkenevil. What do you reckon I need to do? Well, I'm pushing the wheel down. If you just tune in, Merry Christmas. Zypho has been at this for the last six months. So I'm pushing the front wheel down onto the ramp. Do I then need to sort of go back onto the back wheel? I wonder. Hey, Novabug. Good night, Novabug. Take care, mate. Watch your own long play. Now, on the long play, I don't use the... Um, I don't land on this ramp. I land on the road past the ramp. Good night, Novabug. Have a good one, Chris. Have a great weekend. Good luck on the bug stream tomorrow night. Uh, is it 10 p.m. tomorrow? You doing that? Hey, Clanny. Hello, Clanny. Welcome, mate. I have land. I have done the landing on the ramp once. On a, a, the second time I beat this, I landed on the ramp. But I can't remember how I did it. How you doing, Clanny? Good to see you, mate. I'm just going to take the snappy. I've got to take a snappy here to save a tiny bit of time. No, that's not really. Ah! 
I don't get it. You push up here and then pull. I'm saying you have won. Move on. I want to beat it. I want to beat this bloody thing. 10 p.m. Mr. Mr. Bin guesting. Awesome. With Andy Onions as well. Stop. Get help. You knew this would happen again. Hey, Paul Hager. Welcome, mate. I can't remember if this was on the advert in the mid 80s. It might have been. They did like this game a lot. This game um, was the game designed um, by Alan Sugar's son. Um, um, Lord Sugar asked his son if you'd like it, if you wanted a game on your um, on my new computer, son. If you had designed a game, what would your game be? I'm pretty sure this was. And Lord Sugar's son said, I'd like a game where you'd be on a motorbike and you could jump over stuff on it, like buses. And Lord Sugar came in and said, my son would like a game where you could jump over buses on it. And yeah, <laughs> nepotism as it's at its worst. Few more goes. Hang right, what did I do here? Like then we do back. Push it up. Pull it back. Oh, I think I could do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. All right, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. Um, I just put that screenshot there. Let's vote out of 10. Vote out of 10. Vote out of 10 for 3D Stunt Rider. Please, actually, don't be put off by my constant reloading of trying to beat it there. Um, it was fun to play for the first few levels. Um, it was a fun game to play. It's just the last level is deliberately extremely ridiculously hard. Um, just don't be put off by the um, like the silliness of trying to beat that last level there. <laughs> um, but I, I like I really love playing that one. It was just that that last level was like ridiculously, um, like ridiculously hard. Um, three out of ten. That's I think that's pretty harsh. I'm gonna give that. I'll give. I'm gonna give that a seven and a half out of ten. That is fun to play. That is fun to play. I'll um. I'll give it a go from. Um... Why did that? Lo oh, oh, bugger. We'll give it a go from here. I mean, this don't be put off by the reloading of like all the way. When I was reloading from halfway through there and all that kind of stuff, this is. Oh, oh, press the wrong thing there. This is fun to play. I'm going to give that a 7.5 out of 10. Great fun little game. Alright, how many, how many scores we got in there? Uh, we've got a few there. I'm going to start writing them down. Get them in, get them in. So, we've got... Um, Cat gives it an 8. We've got Man Shovel. You can't really give it a, a, a minus. I can't... Well, a minus score would end up being a 0. Are you really going to give it a 0? Come on. Um, Retro Limb gives it a 7 uh, Brian gives it a 10 <laughs> Wow Have you had a few pints Brian uh, Chiefy gives it a 3 Andrea gives it a 6 Matt gives it an 8 Anna gives it a 5 
Does he get an Arse Candle um, review? Blibble gives it a 6. Uh, Clanny gives it an 8.5. Robin uh, gives it a 7. All right, I give it an honest review. 3. Fair enough. Heyhan gives it an 8. Uh, Mike ZT an 8. Uh, Andy P gives it an 8.5. And we've got Maud on a 6. Paul Hayward uh, gives it a 7. Uh, I scored it if safe states were not a thing, as they would not be. Yes, yeah, fair enough. Yeah. I mean, that is the last level. And we, to be honest, we kind of, once you get the hang of it, I did cruise through all the levels, that final level. They gave, they gave you an absolute swine of a one to finish on. Oxo. Hey, Hoxo. How you doing, man? Give, gives it a five there. Um, Brian, you've had a few. <laughs> fair enough. Uh, LK gives it a six. It just about missed the arse candle. That's good. Ow, you missed the bus jumping game. I think I'm going to get killed by, like, throttled by a few people if I actually play any more of that. So, um... Um... And Paul, ha ha Paul Hager... Uh, Hager? Hager. Gives it a seven. Hagos from, like, Final Fight. Sorry. You're good, thanks, dude. Excellent, Oxo. Excellent. Yeah. There's people, people screaming at me to move on. But I will show you that. I'll try and show you the triumphant moment where I did beat it. Right. Um, I will show you. Oh, yeah. I need to put my score in. Ooh, actually, I'm going to change mine. I think I'll give it. I like it. I like it a lot actually. I think I'm gonna give it an eight and a half. I really I think it's one of the better Amsoft games. I think you get a lot of value for your money. Oh actually this is one of the few games that are compatible with the speech synthesizer as well. I think you get the prepare to jump the speech synthesizer. One more go. No, I'll I'll leave it. I'll leave it, otherwise people will get really fed up with me. So let's have a look at where the scores are quickly all right that's all your scores in i'm going to give it an eight and a half and what does it add up to what uh average average is 6.775 so it's just over that i will average round it up they'll have round up to about seven out of ten all right all right yeah that'll do for that one over 90 so, free, uh, 3D Stunt Rider, Amsoft, 1985. What genre is this? You like nearly all the Amsoft games. Oh, bless you, Clanny. They've all got charm to them. There's only one or two real stinkers. We, did, we didn't like 3D um, Invaders earlier. What the hell genre of game is this? Sports. Yeah. We'll put it under sports. Blue Planet. I think that's about the... Um, not racing, really, is it? We'll put it under sports. Stunt Simulator. <laughs> yeah, we'll put it under sports. Those. Yeah, we've had Sultan's Maze. Don't worry. Yeah, there it is. Sultan's Maze up there. That got an average score of 4.5. There we go. Yeah, sports. Similar to downhill skiing, I suppose. There's Musa. Yeah, we'll go with sports for that one. Go with sports. <laughs> right. There you go. Oh, yeah. Did you want to see me actually complete that? If I got the original clip of 3D Stunt Rider... Hang on. Amstrad 3D Stunt Rider. I have the original clip of it. Well, I beat it. Let me let me find it.
Uh, I think I found the video. Let me just find the right bit on the video. Right. Let me see. Let me see. Oh! Right, okay, I found it. And also, I land on the ramp. I think I land on the freaking ramp. Okay. Left or right, the wind is blowing me. Here you go, you get, you get to see it. Roll it. Sort of wiggle a bit. That's me trying to cheat the game to give me more speed, right? I hope you understand. I'll right, find out go. for Fruit Machine for you, Clanny. Oh, here it is. Yeah. There we go. Here we go. I think it's when you hear the bike accelerating as you close the ramp, you have to stay in that position. Come on! Oh! Sci-fi section. Then. No, not enough. Well, I'll show you the crash. What? <laughs> What hey. the frick? I done it. <laughs> and there you go. There you go. Zyphoception on the earliest streams. There. Who have we got on the stream here? Zombie Peaks. German. He went to bed. Retro on limbs there. Arnie. There you go. Fresh dirt. He pops in still every now and again. Good lord. Retro and limb still in the chat. Yeah, you are, you bus jumper. <laughs> Retro and limb, there you are. Oh, you can't see my mouse cursor. Sorry, you couldn't see that there. Oh, you are in the chat, Retro and limber. Retro and limb. Yeah. We actually land on the freaking ramp, don't we? This oh. portion of the sea. What the hell? Why, um, did, why did the Pat Contry video come up then? Sorry, I clicked the wrong thing there. I was going to just mute it a second. If I go slow mo, where's the speed? Playback speed. Play. Hang on. Was this the one? Yeah, this is the one. Sorry, this is the bit in the video. What happened here? I land on the back wheel. Oh, there it is. Come on. I want to see how I land on the ramp. I'm not going to go back and play it. So, back wheel up. And then go, oh, it's slightly back wheel up and then sli go slightly flat, flat. It was like 45 buses, I think. Yeah, okay. Why did I keep crashing then? I don't understand. Well, well, there you go. There you go. And that's where my uh, gif of like go, me going, ah, out my chair comes from on some of my alerts you see on stream. But there you go. Clip the ramp. Shall I try it again, quickly? Don't want Pat and Kim Pat and Ian coming after you. No, I don't want claiming. But I, I swear, right? I 
I swear I freaking... I swear I freaking didn't. to it. <laughs> Looks to me, Mr. Ram. Watch the back wheel. He went under the ram. Does that? Does this go under the ram? It doesn't go under the ramp, does it? No. Look at the wheel there. Ah. On 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 this one. My wheel's landing on the ramp. On that on that clip from the old Am stream, it's like the bike lands just like under and it like clips under like the ramp. I think I beat the game by glitching it, man shibble. Yeah. Whereas this one, it lands literally on literally on the edge of the ramp, I think. And that's what that's what's killing me here. Yeah. So I got lucky on that previous first AM stream from like four years ago or something like that. Yeah, probably. Right. Anyway. All right. Okay. I think we should probably move on. <laughs> right. Let's get off that. Let's get off that. I know, Andrea. I'm terrible. I don't know when to give up. It's both a good quality and a bad quality because I get stuck. I was about to say a rude word there. I get stuff done. <laughs> I'm terrible on, on the stream sometimes. Right, we're moving on. Moving on. Right, what is next? What is next? Let's have a look then on the A to Z. Game is like cocaine for e Sutter. <laughs> As if you want to have enough uh, psychos also in Australia by other names, you can also tell them simply by their names. I'm not sure what you mean there, Chiefy, sorry. Um, that's, that's just wrong that you have to be a, me uh, a messed up as the game to beat it. Well, you're supposed to land slightly further and onto the ramp. The idea is, Matt, you're supposed to be landing on the ramp. I think you can see on this, literally on this screenshot... That's where you're supposed to be landing, essentially, Matt. You're supposed to be landing slightly a pass and above the top. But on my get uh, on that run I was just doing, I'm landing right on the top corner of the ramp. And it's that is essentially you're clipping. I'm landing on the corner, which would probably blow up your tire and blow up your bike. Which fair play, the game is saying that's a bad place to land. Boom, you're dead. Which kind of makes sense, sort of thing. That's why I was trying to land sort of on the front wheel and then bring myself up, which is kind of working. And then it was not liking it, yeah. But on the on that Amstream clip, I'm actually the, the the sprite is clipping underneath the ramp, which is kind of glitching, but it's allowing me to win. So anyway, we're moving on. We're moving on. 3D Stunt Rider. What's next? It is. Oops. Gave away the next one slightly there. 3D time trek. We're still on the numbers. We haven't made it to the letter A yet. Right. 3D time trek. What the fart is this? Annie Rog Software. Looks like a 3D shoot em up. Oh, it might have bugs as well. Right, we might have to download a crack of the game. Someone's done a crack that fixes a bug there or something. 3D Time Trek from Anirog. All right. You were one of the last you survivors of the planet Corillion. When a diversity raid by marauding space pirates. There's always space pirates. You have you vowed to avenge the murderous attack to seek and destroy these aliens and end their galactic tyranny. 
Uh, blah, blah, blah. A brilliant Star Trek game. Star Trek game. They put it all in lowercase letters and put the two words together to avoid getting sued by uh, Gene Roddenberry. An arcade style battle action is superb 3D graphics. Lovely. Okay. 3D time trek. Getting trek in the name there to attract the Star Trek nerds. Amsterdam was so good at the 3D, wasn't it, Al K? And another 3D game, Andrea. All right, let's have a look at it then. Never played. Sorry, never played this before. Never played this before. Okay, 3D time trek. Let's pause my music. Let's see if there's a crack. Um, hopefully, this might be Nish Campbell's actually. Uh, keys are L long range sensors, M for map, B for battle computer. Um, oh, this might be Nish's crack actually, uh, aka CPC game reviews. Um, Oh, Matt, sorry. Chief has continued the conversation we're having earlier. I'm sorry. I stepped in on a conversation. Um, sorry. Sorry, um, Chiefy. Then Alan Sugar's son designed a game. I asked if his name was Damien because the game was uh, it's so evil because it's so hard. I get you. I get you. Sorry. Sorry. Um, I'm still going to work my way through Picard Season 2, unfortunately, Oxo. Try, uh, no spoilers, but I heard Picard Season 3 was really good. Yes. Uh, B for battle computer. Allocate energy when status is... I press E to transfer energy to shields or S to transfer energy. Press a number to select amount to transfer. Oh my god, I've got to remember all this. What I'll do, I'll take a screenshot and chuck it in uh, Windows Paint. Uh, okay, that will do. Drop. Right, I've got that in. Uh, to refer to if I get stuck. Use joystick during battle. In vulnerability, I'll just put it on no. Infinite time, no. Okay. Right. Why is this? Oh, it is now. Okay, cool. Oh! Jolly music! One second. Enjoy the music just a tick while I just stretch my legs. That sounds jolly enough. Yeah. Press any key to start the game, press escape to abort current game, use joystick for control of up, down, left, right. Okay. Okay, let's go. Prepare for launch, player one. All right, crew state activated. All functions normal. Condition red, aliens approaching. Conditions red. <laughs> Alien fleet destroyed. Fantastic. Awesome. Awesome. There you go. All right, put some music in the background. And just turn it down a touch. There we go. Brilliant. Okay. Well, that was an exciting battle there. Future is colourful. It's quite bright uh, around the, the backgrounds there. 
Um, the shooting there was all right. Wow. Has anyone played this game before? Uh, Clanny, you know your older games. Um, this is the most football music I've heard in a while. Uh, oh, this this tune. Oh, the uh, music on the title screen. Oh, yeah. Mm, not very spacey music, was it? Me, 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 says Brian. Oh, you've you've got you had this game, did you, Brian? Wow. Oh God, we have. I forgot we've got the AMS craft. We had a spaceship AMS. Uh, we had a spaceship um, AMS thing. AMS like vehicle thing. We never use this much. Oh, right, we'll, we should get in the AMS craft. We haven't used this much. It's like an R typey thing. We made it for an R type stream. Well, we'll get in this then. Right. Seen it but not played it. Oh! Clanny. Alright then. Right. M to pl... Oh! Galaxy map. Alien blue. Planet red. Space green. Unknown white. So we're going nowhere at the moment. Okay. So everything is unknown. Great. So we don't have a map, I assume. Okay. So L for long range sensors. Alien uh, is blue. Planet is red. Space is green. Carillion gray. So how do we... Uh, aliens blue. So we know we need to go somewhere west. Um, navigate to another sector. So how do we know which direction we are going in? The N. Of enter new sector. How do we enter a new sector? I don't know. Sector one three. What the fuck? Condition green. Okay. Okay. Long range. Okay. Long range sensors. Alien is blue. Well, how do we move to a... Uh... You've got to warp. Land... <sighs> So how do we move? So we do we need to? Oh, right, hang on. Oh. So we've got to walk to. Two two to fight aliens. Right. Okay. 2-2 two, two will be an alien because that's blue. Right, I see. So an alien is blue. That 2-2 two, two will be in a somewhere where there's aliens. Right, okay. I don't know where which is which number goes first. Is it all right, okay. There we go. Navigate, warp function. Enter new sector. 2-2. Two, two, two. There we go. Desmond 2-2. Two, two. Right, we should be about to fight... Theoretically, we should be about to be fighting aliens here. 
Edition Red. Aliens approaching. There we go. Alien fleet destroyed. Okay. Right, let's see what our battle computer says. Energy status 10, total damage 20. I think that's good. Right, okay. Uh, map. Hang on. We're at 2-2 two, two, and it still shows blue that there's aliens there. So, why is it still showing blue? We're at Sector 2-2 two, two, and we've just destroyed the aliens. I don't get it. Okay, so you get the idea of the game. Um, and I think Brian was saying earlier that you go to a planet to refuel, get repaired and all that kind of stuff. And you've got to clear the, the galaxy and the sectors of all aliens and blah blah blah. Okay? And you carry on until the galaxy's glitter all aliens and so forth. Right, so. Wow. Um, what would we. Should we go to rate this? Should we start getting scores out of 10 for this one? Maybe. Yeah, uh, it doesn't look too bad, this one. Um, the thing is, like, how are you supposed to know what sector you're in? It doesn't actually tell you what sector you're in. It's all a bit confusing. Long range scanners. Right, I mean. You are in the center of the map. Oh, I see. Right. Five out of ten, I'll stick a 3D star strike. <laughs> you must travel the white bits to make it known. Ah, uh, okay. I see. And with the coordinates, are they vertical first, then horizontal? Or is it horizontal, then vertical? Do you know, Brian? Hello, Velo. Mr. Dave Velociraptor has arrived. How are you doing, Velo? What have you been up to this evening? Have you been to the flicks? Oh, you, oh I, I guess you use the long-range scanners, and that will reveal more of the map. I get it. I get it. Oh, Pete Walker fell asleep drinking his drinking the toilet duck and the turps um, hours ago, Mike ZT. Oh, you went to bed at 8 p.m. knackers, and now you've woken up at 2 in the morning nearly. <laughs> Unlucky, Velo. Unlucky. Uh, 4 out of 10, boring of annoying music. Right, okay. 
Okay. Right, how do we get out of this? I want to go back to the main screen. Online battle. Yeah. Right, okay, we're good. Um, I can't remember, so I think X then Y. X, Y. That would make sense, but I'm only drunkenly guessing. Okay, so X then Y. So we want to go to 3, 4. 3, 4. Let's go to 3, 4 then. There should be aliens there. 3, 4. Commencing battle warp to sector three four. Music is not good. It does. It was. It sounded okay to start with, and now it got. It's got annoying, hasn't it, Blue Planet? I don't think this is too bad. I think there's a bit of depth, a little bit more depth to it than I thought initially. Edition green. It's Y X then. It's not X Y. Which would make more sense because it's X, Y in the alphabet. And that's why most coordinates work. Condition green. There's no bloody... No, there's no space aliens here. So it's Y, X, the coordinates. Who goes by Y, X coordinates? It's always X, Y. That's stupid. Y, X coordinates. For fart's sakes. So we need to go to uh, 4 3 then. So we're at 3, uh, three 4 essentially. And we want to go to 4 3. Right, okay. Things are different in space. <laughs> right, okay. It's a volume down game. Sound effects are okay. Oh my goodness. Aliens approaching. Condition red. Yeah, the space combat is a bit, um, limited. Uh, what? You see a horrible black uh, outline around the sprites as well. Fleet destroyed. What's our battle computer like? Total damage, 60. Energy status, 10. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay, get us out of here. Uh, Long-range scanners. Oh, there's a planet. We found a planet. The red is a planet. Okay. Should we visit a planet? That is 4-2. Four, 4-2. Two. Four, two. Right, navigate to uh four two. Let's visit the planet. Welcome back, Lucas. Bloody hell, you've been a while. <laughs> oh, we're in the Amscraft for our space travels, Velo. Duck hunt in space. Oh, look at this! Oh, we've got a land. Oh, it's like that um, freaking uh, level in that arcade coin up I've forgotten. Landed safely. Energy tanks refueled. What's this? Uh, oh, what's that arcade game where you have to land this land the space shuttle thingy in, uh, and you have a level like that? It, oh my goodness. Got on Simmy. All right, mate. How's it going, Simmy? Good lord, it's a late one for you here. There's Lunar Lander. There's like an there's there's also another coin up where there's like a third level in the game where you have to land the thing. Good lord, yeah. Um, now, mate, friends around playing games. Good stuff. Good stuff, mate. 
Good stuff, Lucas. Hope you had a good evening. How's it going, Simmy? You had any uh, club nights to DJ recently? So, we've refueled. Cool. And we're back in space. And that's it. Okay, I think... I think we've pretty much seen... What we need to see, 3-2 next. So we navigate to 3-2 to fight some more aliens. All right, uh, if anybody wants to venture in some scores out of 10, if you haven't already, go for it. You won a bit of golf, did, uh, have you, Lucas? Good stuff, mate. Oh, you just got home from Believe Brilliant DJ gig. Awesome, mate. You had a good crowd. Yeah, the combat here kind of sucks. It's the same thing. They just approach from one side, move across, yeah. Oh, did we get wrecked? <gasps> your mission has failed after critical damage to your battleship. Self-destructed, the aliens now have control over the entire cosmos. Wrecked. Yeah, it's all right, isn't it? Let's get out the Amscraft. Right. Yeah, it was all right. It's okay. I don't know. That was the Amscraft. <laughs> it's kind of rip off. I ripped it off from our type. I don't know. Uh, six out of ten from me, probably. I've got to get your scores out of ten. I've got to put it in the spreadsheet. And then we'll figure out what the average was. Right, we had some scores from earlier. Right, we've got five from blue. Uh, okay, gives it a five from earlier. It's like a uh, good track with 3D, maybe a six. Uh, I can't remember. Oh, oh. What are you going? I'll, I'll say Al. Al, I'll say you gave it five and a half because you gave it five and then, then then you said six straight after. So I'll say five and a half from you. Um, oh, uh, Plachem. Welcome into the Amstream. Sorry I missed you there. You gave it a four out of ten. Welcome in, uh, Plachem. Welcome, welcome to the Amstream. Uh, Clanny says uh, was a five out of ten. Um... Does you rather stick with 3D Star Star Strike? Robin gives it a five from earlier. Robin, thank you. Um, it's no codename Matt, but it was fun. I think codename Matt was a 1985 game, so we'll, we'll be looking at that on a later stream. Anna gives it a five. Any ask candle ratings? Uh, Mike CT not sure what to score it yet. It's on eBay for £27, apparently, this game. Really? Good grief. Uh, Retro Limb, 4 out of 10. Boring with annoying match tape music. <laughs> yep. Um, uh, Andy B says it's worth a 5 out of 10. I'm putting your names on my list, so in case you repeated your scores later. Um... Uh, Brian gives it a 6 out of 10. Thank you, Brian. Matt Myers gives it a 2 out of 10. Uh, let's see. For night again, there's a lot of depth and things to do. 7.5 out of 10 from Velo. Good stuff, Velo. Yeah, so it's okay. A bit basic, but it's, 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 it packs a fair amount of things in. Brian, I've already got your... I think, yeah, I've already got your 6 out of 10. Thank you, Brian. Paul Hayward gives it a 6. Cool. Um, where am I up to? Maud gives it a 5 out of 10. Cool. And then we're going to get the average score done. Where am I up to? Oh, my chat window just rescrolled itself. 
Uh, thank you for the GG, Velo. Mike ZT gives it a six. Cool. Going up to LK. Oh, thank you for the GG. Yeah, uh, Musa gives it a five. Uh, Man Shivel gives it a six out of ten. Um, yeah, Masuda says, yeah, it was busy at the start, but set died off a bit in the middle, and I changed styles at a full room of people raving like mad. Awesome, mate. Awesome. That's a hear it do. Did you make a bit of dosh from tonight, or was it just a bit of fun, basically? And uh, where was it? Did you, have to, did you have to travel? Did you have to travel a bit of distance for it, or was it like a local gig? And it just, you just give it a five, no arse candles or anything like that. You really just keep track of this, yeah? Because it were some of the some of the scores came in earlier on. I did uh, make sure we had no repeats. I don't know what to give this. I think I'll give this a six for myself. Right? Okay. So, right, if you've got any more scores, quickly chuck them in the chat. But uh, actually, no, we probably need to move on. So, that we've got all your scores in there. So, let's get the average for that. The average, you're going to really squint to see if you can see my mouse cursor down here. The average comes out at around 5.16. So, yeah, write it down to a 5 out of 10. You still don't know what the name of this game is. Vado, it's 3D Time Trek. 3D Time Trek from Annie Rog. There it is. There we go. So we'll put that in our software. Uh, 3D Time Trek. Definitely not trying to play off the Star Trek name at all. Annie Rog from 1985. What was the average again? Uh, smack on five, basically. Five. Uh, genre. Right. What genre would this be? It was in Middlesbrough and a fundraiser for a festival. So oh, a charity. It's basically a charity gig. I hope it didn't get cost you too much in travel. An indie festival that I played at last year that I really want to happen again this year. Oh, cool stuff, man. Cool stuff. Andy P, anybody on here still got an Amsterdam? Oh, yeah. You know I have. You know I have, Andy P. <sighs> God. Um, space Sims. I mean, like, Star Commando up here was a very similar game. And we called it a Space Sim shoot 'em up. <laughs> we'll, call, we'll just put it under the same Space Sim shoot 'em up. I didn't even know what. What, you know, uh, Elite. What does Elite get classified as? Elite computer game on Wikipedia. Space trading video game. Is that is that what genre it's under? Space trading and combat simulator. Wow. That's the genre it's in. Elite is a space trading video game. That's the genre. Space Training and Combat Simulator. Also, it gets called a Space Flight Simulation. Wow. See, I don't know what genre sometimes to put these games in. Space Simulation game. Just call it Space. <laughs> hey, it's Nana off. Good, um... Where's Anna's goodnight message? Is there? Hey, good night, Anna. A top tip there, don't eat the brown snow. <laughs> Good night, Anna. Take care. See you soon. Have a lovely weekend. We're not doing any space trading here. Space sim... We'll just call it space sim shoot em up. I don't know. Uh, it's like we've got several Amstrads. Oh, the Amstrads. Oh, the Amstrads. You're designing a ROM box. Nice. Very nice. Which ROMs are going to put in there? You have two six one two eight. Well, that's just greedy. <laughs> you never understood Elite, but you still watch Lucas play Elite Dangerous. Nice. I have not heard of that person, but cool. It's nice to chill out with. Um. 
Right, yes, it is, it is cracking on now. I think I probably might have to call it there. But, like, oh, I, I get so bored of, like, figuring out genre names. Space, sh space Sim Shoot em Up? Space Train Combat Simulator. What a crap genre name. I don't know. Space Trading Space Flight Simulator. It's a genre of flight simulators. Space Flight Simulation. I mean, the game we just played is not really a space flight simulation. It's just kind of more of a shoot 'em up, isn't it? Make one. Make a genre up. Space Simulator shoot em up. And we'll put it for that one as well. Space Sim... Oh, I spelt it wrong. Ah, oh, Simu... There. Done. Right, let's save. Alright. Okay, well that's that done. Um, I think we will probably leave it there. Um... Hmm, yeah. I think we'll probably leave things there. Um... Oh, Blurb from Launchbox uh, the database 3D Time Track is a first-person perspective 3D space game. 3D space game. That might that might be a better catch-all thing for that. Space simulator, shoot him up. It's not even 3D though, is it? No 3D in this game at all, was there? What? It is still early. <laughs> we could have another go on the last level of um, 3D Stunt Rider if you want. <laughs> Quasi 3D. Um, space adventure shooter. Yo, one more go. I'm not. I won't do that reload from that. Um, halfway through jumping over the buses though. Bus fever. Let's go. One more go. I'll reload it from the start of the level. I'm not reloading from that bit where I was like halfway in the air because that was just bloody annoying. And I'm going to um, bring down the sound of the um, bike noise and all that. 3D is in firing into the screen. I don't think there was any 3D in this sodding game. So. Was there? It was called 3D Time Trek, wasn't it? Was there any 3D at all in it? I don't think so. You can look. Hmm. Dark Glider Elite this, several all fit. Oh, there was some sort of 3D effects. Is this 3D? It's got a, an in out of the screen perspective, slight. That's it, that's. Their right people Toda's ideas of 3D at the time is is kind of a bit weird. The warp jump is screensaver 3D, but yeah. All right, all right. I've got to be finished. I should really be finishing, but um, we'll have one last go on. Um, let me bring the volume down on this. Where we go? How about here? How loud is that noise? Is that a bit too loud? Is that better? Got a 3D star field. <laughs> Alright. Is that not too loud? I've put it about... Uh... 
Let's put the volume about here then. Face rumbly. Why is Elvis on a motorbike? <laughs> All right, put the the, the, the uh, emulator volume about there. Hopefully, it's not too uh, not too annoying on the ears. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's see if we can do it. Here we go. Final level of 3D Stunt Rider. No, speed's not going. We need to get the speed to about 138, 139 miles per hour. Not happening there. Hundred and thirty three, that's pathetic. And you'll see how far off I am. We're about to finish flip. We still got like an, uh, we have still about over fifty people on the stream, so I thought Meh. So we wanna try and hit the magical hundred and thirty nine miles per hour. Oh, hello. We take a snappy there. Oh. Tempt two. Oh. Oh. We got about, what did we get there? It was 138. But I think I wasn't dead center on the takeoff ramp, which is why we weren't getting enough distance there, I don't think. Well, that's poo. That sucks. About past 2 a.m. in the UK. Yeah, it's about 2.20. Oh! Motivation fairy. <laughs> the 128. How fast you can crash into a buzz. <laughs> Has that motivated me to crash into a bus? Who's that from? Oh no! My, uh, I think my uh, my, my uh, mail server has crashed again. I'm not getting emails on my phone. So thank you, whoever that was. Uh, thank you, Motivation Fairy. Thank you very much for the £1.28 or the 128k there. I'll just have to dish out some bananas in the chat. Thank you, Motivation Fairy, for the £1.28 there. How fast can you crash into a bus? Well, we did that about 130 miles per hour. I don't think we would survive that. Thank you, Motivation Fairy. Unfortunately, I don't know who you are. Um, my phone and emails are not updating. Uh, thank you, my mail server provider. <laughs> thank you, Motivation Fairy. Can we give some bananas in the chat for the Motivation Fairy? <laughs> Cheers. Uh, Man Shovel. Good night, Man Shovel. Uh, I'm going to run to the store, so I'm going to go into lurk mode. Everyone have an awesome night. Cheers, Man Shovel. And thank you for the donos earlier as well. <laughs> thank you, in case that was you as well. Um, anyway, good night, Man Shovel. Have an awesome weekend. And all the best to Mrs. Shovel as well. Uh, Andy B, you're going to put Protex and Maxim on your ROMs in your ROM box. That's what everyone did back in the day as well. Good stuff. Maxam was essential uh, if you're coding an assembler and machine code. Good stuff, um, Andy. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Ah! Not getting the speed there. No night, man, shovel. Nope. 133 there. Thank you, Motivation Fairy. 136 we got there. 
A classic, not as good as Harry Attack, but still a classic. 135. Again, it's just not going to be enough, is it? Oh, that was close. Oh, an email's come through. Uh, that might be an old email, actually. I don't know. Hundred and thirty, that was pathetic. Hundred and thirty five, that was close, Al K. It's weird how like you get certain speeds like weaving all over the track. Hundred and thirty eight there. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Al soothing voice. Yeah, that was rubbish. Here we go again. Thirty one. Thirty-six. Although we're quite high in the sky. Yeah. Al Zypho ASMR. Nope. Not good. Nope. Wait for a boss and 50 turn up at once. 136. Oh, that's quite high in the sky. Not bad. Not bad. 48 people on the edges of their seats. Riveting stuff, Musa. Nope. 130. Sure, I've fallen asleep to it many a times. Great. <laughs> 134. Not good enough. Here's the speeds are random. There's wind blowing you at the side of the track. But I do feel there's a bit of random. There is a slight bit of randomness to it. 128. And I've never worked out what you need to do. What about if we weave all over the place? Oh, the, the, the count got stuck on the stream again. I'll update it. 36 there. Oh, we've gone quite high in the sky though. I have gone so high in the sky on the uh, that that the head of the um, rider has gone through the top and come back through the bottom of the screen. So you can go higher than that. Let me update. What's what's the uh, viewer count on? It should be on about 41. Sorry, view count's got stuck again. Oh, there we go, 40 viewers. Right, there we go. It's really good, 40 viewers at like half two in the morning. I, I, I'm proud of you all. I'm proud of you all. Thank you for sticking with us tonight. 130. It's how random is, is the speed here? It's, an, it's annoying. Thirty-six. Try and keep the bike as centre as possible, maybe. I don't know. 137. 
Oh yeah, the head's gone through the bottom of the floor. Did you see that? Thirty-seven. Yeah, it was before. Under thirty-six. Nope. A lot of the fans of the Super Scenes I guess. Ah, I don't know. Also, if you see a white flash at the border, that means I, took the, I, I also timed the perfect takeoff by pulling back on the joystick as we launch 138. Still not enough there. I don't think I'll centre of the ramp enough. What did the stream score this? 3D Stunt Rider got. An average uh, score in the end of 7 out of 10, Velo. Which annoyed me, because I thought it should get like an 8, or an 8.5. <laughs> Come on, Velo. It look, did look good then, Matt, didn't it? Hundred and thirty-eight there. Oh no! That didn't look too bad there as well. You can't believe the stream likes this better than the three D space game. I think it's a better game. You know. I'm taking a snappy. That's 139. Two. But he's not gone as high. It's that thing again, landing on the sodding ramp. Here we go again. Why is it not like that? I don't get it. You can you can manipulate the guy in the air. Yes, okay, just what I'm doing. I'm pushing up, push his nose down a bit. Yes, it's this crap again. Oh no, that's a bit my bad. Yeah, something like that, okay. That's what we were trying before. But then, what happens is, we do that, but you, when we hit the concrete here, it will, you explode. Because when you hit the concrete, you've got to be at that. No things are, you must unlearn what you have learned. It's quite impressive for how far 
Can Sinclair's C5 vehicle chomp? Maybe it's like quite high up, you've got to be the back wheel. Yeah, I... Maybe not then. I don't know. Ah, game is torture. You should be canonized for your patience. Well, I've got bugger all else to do right now. I don't think the game actually... I don't think the game expects you to land on this ramp. I don't think they ever coded it expecting you to land on the ramp. So, at every other level, you land on the tarmac, and that's the problem. We just need to be a pixel further forward. And we'd avoid the ramp altogether. And we land on the tarmac. But past it. Ah! If we just get past the ramp. Oops. Let's get, if we can just get a back wheel over it and then pull up. Ah! And the head slide down would work. If we could just get it down like that, past the ramp, and then pull up at the last second, we might be able to do it. got it working before just think your previous video and move forward we, we did that before Mike ZT oh is it 35 pass no, I, I'll be giving up in a second anyway that's it that's it it's a slightly more shallower angle right I got it Oops. Sorry, guys. Right, okay. Uh, ah! What? Oh, I've lost focus on my emulator. Sorry. I've just lost the plot completely. Why is this control stop working? Looks at looks a bug's dick short. <laughs> Saying you landed it before yeah.
Oh, I had it there. Right. Ah! Keep it straight. Keep it straight. Keep it straight. Keep it straight. Almost straight. those buses never run straight. I'm going to turn down the game volume because it's getting annoying. Right, I see it there. Okay. It's about there. That's what. That's the angle. There. Oh, okay. Even I'm getting fed up now. Come on, Zai. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. I did not like that. Oh, for God's sake. Take a snappy there. Maybe save a bit of time. Land on the rear wheel. We can't. On, not on the ramp. But on the on the tarmac past the ramp, you have to. I'm, I've nearly got it. I think I've nearly got it. Or am I deluding myself? The problem is that we're applying proper physics to something that's likely programmed extremely flakily. What I need to do is fl uh, is flatten it out as I get nearer to the bottom of the ramp. But like, I don't know why I keep getting wrecked near the top of the ramp. So I'm keep uh, I'm, pr I'm tapping the down arrow. Tap 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 basically. Mike's ET, good night, Mike. Take care. And thanks again for what you've done. We have a very special thing from Mike coming up for an AMS game he's created for us. He's an absolute diamond. Can't wait to try it out, Mike. And thank you very, very much, mate. Lots of lots of respect and love coming your way soon. Good night, Mike. Have a great weekend, mate. And Texie, good night, Texie. Oh, sorry, welcome, Taxi. Sorry. We'll be finishing very shortly, Taxi. Welcome in, Taxi, though. The final level. <gasps> that is the closest. That is the closest we've come.
What? Second closest. Needs to be almost straight. Then it needs right there. It needs to go on slightly up. How do we get the bike up? I must admit I'm invested in this now. It's kind of this is what I know. I'm like I want to freaking beat this too. I'm invested. I don't think there's enough time to get the bike up. The land on the tarmac, you've got to have to be slightly. The bike needs to be slightly up on its back wheel. If you land flat or obviously on it, or slightly on its front wheel. You won't do it. It counts as a crash. The OCD madness. I know. Tap, 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 tap. So I've got to try and keep this almost straight. Ah. Oh. I might have to give up. I don't think there's enough time to get the bike up on its back wheel. And as soon as you do, it crashes on the ramp. Try not to scream because people are are sleeping upstairs. Minnie's iPhone, etc. <laughs> <laughs> no, it just repeats the same level over and over. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> I might actually cry. Oh my goodness. Oh. On that note. <laughs> and my determination, sir. Wow. Wow. We have given the streamer a like and a thumbs up. Now your time now is your time to do so. <laughs> Never load this game ever again. I think that's the third time now we have beaten 3D Stunt Rider <laughs> on the stream. You was hoping for another couple of hours of that. I've got to see a replay. I've got to see a replay. Uh, let's see. I don't know if I can rewind the stream. Let me just see if it's possible. No, no, no. What's it doing? 
Oh, it's reloaded the wrong bloody thing. Hang on. What doing that for? I've got to see a replay. Can I see that? Let's see that. <laughs> oh! Mord! <laughs> Thank you very, very much for the one ninety nine. <laughs> no message there, but thank you, Maud. Thank you very, very much, Maud. Can we have some bananas in the chat for the sneaky Maud? Sneaking in with a sneaky dono there. Cheers, Maud. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Just Maud showing his appreciation there, Maud, and I appreciate you, Maud. Thank you, Maud. Bless you, mate. Thank you, dude. <laughs> Cheers, Maud. How did we do that? I think we're gonna have a we'll have a little replay. Um, we'll do it at like like half speed or something. <gasps> Hang on, I'll sort it out. Quick replay, Maud. Thank you, mate. Bless you, Maud. You're a kind dude. Thanks, Maud. Thank you very very much. Enjoy your bananas. Put it, we'll put it to like slow speed. Hang on. Somewhere here. I think it was here. Are we watching? Here we go. No, it's not that one. This one? No. Next one. This should be the new channel intro. <laughs> one blew up at the end. Oh, it might be this one. Sorry. It's hard to find on the rewind thingy. Sorry, guys. It's hard to find on the, on like the YouTube thing. It's not like Twitch. Ah! This one? Come on. No, this one. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's just after. Right, it's there. Oh, no, now I'm watching myself again. Oh, for God's sakes. Right, I'll reload it again. If I can't find it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, there it is. From here. There! How did that happen? I st I'm just intrigued how it managed to get on. Oh, it's... Ugh. Zyception, I know. Zyception. Oh, for fart's sakes.
Uh, I, you have trouble seeking the right bit in the video. I'm going to give up after this. This one? Please. Ah, whatever. Whatever. I can't get the replay sorted. Never mind. Never mind. The pain in the arse sorting it on here. Never mind. Okay. Okay, guys. Ah. Uh, <laughs> let me just catch up with the chat there quickly. <clears throat> I want to go and see, but please uh, move forward. Yes, yes. Well done, Zypher. A great way to end the stream. It happened so quick. I know. I've linked so much and I missed the actual GG. I think I found it on the video, but, um, oh, well, yes, bad shovel. Yes, I did it. Are you mind my determination? I will probably load this again. You want another go? No, I hopefully won't have to play this game ever again for a very long time. <laughs> a very long time. Anyone want to revise their score of 3D Stunt Rider before we move on? <laughs> Bloody 3D Stunt Rider. Thank you again, Maud. Thank you again. All right, guys. On that bombshell, I think I think um, I think we'll move to our outro. I think I think we are done for the night. <laughs> oh, I think I just found where we were in the video. Actually, actually, there. If anybody wants to see it again, oh no. I thought I'd found it there. Ah, oh, I thought I'd found it. Oh, arse biscuits. For those who wanted the replay. Shoot. I thought I'd found it just then. Oh, for God's sakes. Sorry, YouTube like reloads itself every now and again. I'd lost it. Oh, I thought I'd found it. I'll give it 10 seconds. Yeah, it's right here. Oh, there it is. There it was. I can't, I'll do it in slow-mo, but never mind. <laughs> there we go. All right, there's the moment to end on. Camera went nuts there. <laughs> Great stream, such an epilogue. Yeah, that is a good way to end tonight. That, that is a good way to end, yeah. Chiefy sticking with a 6 out of 10. And Clanny sticking with an 8.5, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Incredible that it will take, uh, incredible that it will take as long to find the clip as it took to make. <laughs> we'll chuck that on Twitter tomorrow, probably, as well. <laughs> All right. Let's go to our outro. Good grief. I think I'll need a stiff, stiff drink after that. Oh my goodness, it's nearly 3 a.m. So we have done a long stream tonight in the end. And the, the funny thing is, for our first stream of 1985, we didn't even make it to the letter A yet. <laughs> Oh my days. Right. And I can tell you something. We did make it off the first page um, of the CPC power listing um, of the letter A uh, of the of 1985. Um, so we're using the obviously uh, CPC power as the uh, as the uh, guide for our A to Z. Um, and I've got the, uh, obviously I've got the games listed from 1985 uh, in CPC Power, and CPC Power has about 31 pages for 1985. I'm gonna need to try and speed up how we do these. I'm gonna have a little think about how we can speed through these a little bit quicker. But it is nice just chilling and taking our time with things. There is no reason why we need to, um, I suppose, burn through these. I don't know. But um, Lost Games in 85. Um, 
I, I quite like the pace. I, I don't know. I quite, I, I quite like how we do these. Um, if anyone's like, oh, you're, you're taking too long over stuff, then do feed, feed, feel free to feed it back to me, either in a private message or just in the general chat and stuff. I, I, I like how we do things. I don't know. But, um... <laughs> Although, we did take too long over a 3D stunt rider. I do grant you that. We could have come back to it at the end of stream like now as an extra bonus. I was going to finish it too. We've instead finished it free. So as a bonus, like, oh, what the hell? We'll carry on a little bit longer tonight. We could have perhaps used that time just to come back and dick around a 3D stunt rider. Which we did anyway. But, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, that was time well spent. <laughs> Well, yeah, it had a fun end to the stream in the end, didn't it? So, um, yeah. So it'll still be going on in 2030. I don't care. Yeah, it, 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 yeah, it gives me like an ongoing thing to know. I don't know what I'm doing tonight on the AM stream. Oh my God, what do I do? Well, we'll carry on with the A to Z of the uh, of the Amstrad games, and we'll, it's always a fun one to do. We, I don't know what, what game is coming up next. You guys generally don't know, unless you spoiler it for yourself, which I suggest you don't, because you never know what comes next. It could be crap, it could be great, it could be a classic, it could be an Amsoft game, it could be absolute garbage, it could be a hidden gem. We just don't know. And that's what's fun about it for me, and makes it fun for you, and yeah. Yeah. And especially the early days, you never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> anyway, cheers guys and girls. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for your lovely messages there. Um, I am working very, very hard on a new Amst uh, a new video for the channel. Uh, it's predominantly an Amstrad video, but it also covers a lot of systems. Uh, I'm just trying out something a little bit different. Um, I hope you guys and girls enjoy it. It's taking a lot of hard work editing. Um, for me, anyway. I'm not a skilled editor like a lot of these slick professionals um filling up a youtube bar um but um, hopefully i'll get it finished uh, early next week so look out for that um and i hopefully i'll get something for the uh, patrons this weekend as well cheers robin thanks for the nice message there as well um and thank you everyone cheers guys thank you matt cheers maud thank you our k vespertino and cheers clanny nice to see you back here as well oh i finished as well all oh, um, things Faded out early. Anyway, guys and girls, take care. Have a great weekend. Thanks for all your lovely messages there. Take care, everyone. Have a lovely weekend. See you all soon. I'll be back streaming on Twitch on Monday as well. Take care, everyone. Good night. And see you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>